I did not dox anyone. I I said Yalk's person name. I Yalk has said his person name before. That's not doxing. That's so messed up. This is so fucked up. Yeah, no perception, only recognition. Yes, that's... Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's, let's start. We're an hour and a half in. I have to start streaming. This might be a record of the... For the longest time that it has taken to start a stream. Unbelievable. Okay. So they've updated the Vintage Cube. I'm going to be doing uh, some Vintage Cube drafts today because I'd like to play some Cube. I was walking a bunch of Cube. Uh, watching a bunch of Cube, excuse me. And, uh... Yeah, it, uh... There's some changes. I kind of looked at them a while ago, but I haven't, you know, watched... Or I haven't read through the entirety of it. Um... I am going to be doing a bunch of drafts, so don't worry. I'm going to be here for a long time. And hopefully it'll be a good time. <clears throat> Distract me with more Magicon questions? I mean, that's fine. I'm fine answering through them. But I, I want to get through this part because uh, this will help me draft and it'll also help, I guess, folks uh, understand some of my decisions and maybe their own drafts too. So I did an update. Bunch of changes done here. Um, let's see what they are. So they cut Archangel Avison, which is good. This card's very big and uh, not great. They added Mana Tithe. I'm not going to read all the design notes unless there's something very specific as to like, why would they want to do that? <clears throat> uh, I like this change. Mana Tithe is great. It's a fun gotcha card. It does hit people, uh, unexpectedly like it. Kithian for Novice Inspector. I'm not a huge fan of cutting Kithian. I like Kithian as a magic card. Novice Inspector is like having a Thraben Inspector style card is, is pretty cool. It goes into the artifact decks, cheap white decks. Uh, you can even play this in like the, the controller decks, controlling decks too. Um, but I kind of, it's one of those things where it's like, why'd you have to cut Kithian? I really like what Kithian does, but if you got to make room, you got to make room. Uh, they cut Ranger Captain for Recruiter of the Guard. This is one of those ones where I'd like to have uh, both of them i'm curious to read what they say uh captain while captain is a great way to combat the fearsome underworld breach combo at one white white it ends up in fewer decks and recruiter We're, we are walking back this change and taking the improved tutor effect over the combo defense um yeah i mean any kind of knock on white x deck seems okay to me because they're it's the best thing that you can do but I do like Ranger Captain. Like, also Ranger Captain... Like, maybe they are intentionally wanting to make the top of the deck tutors a little bit better as well. Outside of the combo decks. Like, being able to Mystical Tutor for, like, a board wipe or a removal spell. Or, um, you know, like a, a, a draw seven. I mean, that's still kind of comboing. But, you know, Recruiter, Recruiter is very good. The 3-3, three, three, the double white makes it difficult, like they mentioned. But the 3-3 three bo three, three body is, like, pretty strong. Uh, Bergy for Broadside Bombardiers. I'm going to be picking Broad... Th uh, this kind of makes sense. They're not exactly the same card, <clears throat> but, you know, red three drops. I think Bro Broadside Bombardiers is likely just going to become, like, a, a top 50 card almost instantly. This card is not okay. It is so fucked up. This is the one card I actually wanted to buy during the weekend, and I didn't find it. And, uh... I didn't look too hard, though, but, uh... Yowza. Earthshaker Kenra for Goblin Crater Maker. I'm okay with this. That's fine. Um, they talk about domain here. I imagine it's because they had this weird like domain slash warriors package. Uh, I like Crater Maker because it's a it's a utility card. Who doesn't love utility? They cut the egg for Mishra's research desk. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The research desk is just like a, a nicer uh, cost. It, it, the when the, the mana cost is on the ability rather than the actual card itself, it makes it easier for the Academy and the Artifact Density decks to be able to play this. And you can still play Mishra's Re Research Desk in like a blue-white deck if you really need to. 
Right of Flame for Mind Collapse? Yeah, Right of Flame is a little weird. I like Mind Collapse. I think Mind Collapse is great. This says that community opinions are divided, but I really like Mind Collapse. It's a cool free spell. <clears throat> uh, they cut Valkyrie Expiration for Bitter Reunion. Yeah, I I like Bitter Reunion. Bitter Reunion is sick. It's so good in the like... Hi, Mulder. Oh, big meow. In the uh, the Welder decks and the Reanimation decks and even in the like black red, I have like a copy of Animate Dead and Reanimate or Recurring Nightmare kind of decks. Uh, it can see play, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I like it. Valkyrie Exploration, the lands package is a little goofy. There are certain parts of the lands package I don't mind, but this, I, this I'm okay with. Uh, they cut Molten Collapse for uh, Bitter Blossom. This feels like a weird swap, you know? Um, I like Molten Collapse, but it is boring. It's just like kind of a good spell to pick up. And there's already some other good spells. Um, for Bitter Blossom, I don't like Bitter Blossom as a magic card, or I don't think it's a powerful magic card. Um, but I do really like Skull Clamp, and I think that there are some cool cards in the cube that make Bitter Blossom at least more interesting. Like, if you told me, would I like? How do you feel about playing Bitter Blossom in Vintage Cube? Like, uh, at the beginning of the last iteration of Cube, I probably would have said, "Why would I do that?" But now with like Gut and Broadside Bombardiers being in here and like Clamp going up on my uh, evaluation, I, I'm into it. Vile Smasher kind of goofy. I heard some very good players say Vile Smasher was uh, severely underrated. It was a card that they could like try to get like really late in the pack and be super happy to play it. Uh, and I'm a little upset that I didn't get uh, a chance to do it, but yeah, Doretti is just very good and cool. Cutting Najila for Rabble Master, big fan, not a huge fan of Najila. Uh, it's something that people also seemed to like, but I was less convinced about this card being good than Vile Smasher. And they cut it for Rabble Master, and Rabble Master is great. They cut Soul Wind Grace for Preacher of the Schism. Soul Wind Grace is a little awkward. Uh, Preacher is a very strong magic card. Uh, it's got Soul Ring, or, well, Ancient Tomb mana. I've been petting Mulder with my left hand, so a bunch of cat hair just went up into the air. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Preacher's great. It's good defensive. It's a nice, like, mid-range plus Moxon kind of card. It's not embarrassing to play. Cutting Wild Nacatl for Manglehorn. Also like it. Uh, very weird card to have in the cube. Um and Manglehorn, like there are certain domain cards that I really have, uh, t I, the Kavu, uh, the Scion of Draco, and Tribal Flames, I'm really into. And like maybe Neshoba Brawler, because I've taken five from that card a couple of times. Um, so yeah, Mang and Manglehorn's kind of cool. Questing Druid for Shrapnel Blast. I don't like this. I think this card is great. I think this card is... Um, in my opinion, I feel like this card should just be like a cube staple forever. Like it's not the best thing in the world, but it is so, it, it really captures like some of the strengths of cube where you, if you are like a red deck and you pick up like a taiga and like a copper line gorge or whatever, and then you can play this questing druid and be happy with it or vice versa. You're like a green X deck with a bunch of cheap, you know, interactive cards. And maybe you want to pick up some lands uh, for a Minskin Boo and you have this, or you want to pick up some, like you want to just, you have a Triome that you can play this off of. I, I really like this card. Shrapnel Blast is very funny. I, I mean, I grew up with this magic card, so it'll be exciting to see it. Don't like this. Cutting Eternal Witness for Regrowth. I like playing both of them, but I'm a sucker for regrowth effects in general. Um, I It's the same kind of thing, so sure. Loam for Yavimaya. Loam is just like not... It very rarely does anything. Okay, bye, Mulder. Um, Yavimaya is just like a fine land to have. It's a little weird, but it you can do some stuff with it. Yeah, I really don't like this cut, Sibwa. I just play both. Regrowth isn't a green card as well. Like, this is a blue card. 
I don't know why it's in the green cards. This is a blue card that occasionally can be a black or red card. Uh, O'Hara Coslem for World Spine Worm. My, my, I, I, I've gone up on O'Hara Coslem uh, over the course of playing with it, but it also felt like, yeah, sure was a five mana mythic creature from the past four years. Could have been anything, really. It could have been any kind of top end. World Spine was a uh, very odd cut in the first place. And like, yeah, put it back in. Mooly Dooley got cut for Cavalier. Very weird. Mooly Dooley got a lot worse, but still feels like a card you keep just because it's cube, you know? Like, you keep Mooly Dooley because it's easy to cast. It's just a thing you can do. Cavalier's kind of neat. Um, I will... I, I feel like you don't do this. You swap the Coslem for the Cavalier. And, like, maybe you... If you need to find... Like, I don't know. There's just some cards that are very odd to me that they cut or that they kept. Um... I imagine the see, seeing the ones they kept is it's going to pop up when we actually do the draft, but uh, you know, like maybe you just cut this on power level because you know power level. But um, I there are still decks where I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm glad Oracle of Moldiah came around. I don't think I've said that for some of these other cards that we've seen. Uh, Spelunking got cut for Oath of Druids. Uh, yeah, Spelunking uh, was bad. Oath of Druids is uh, a cool card that you end up getting late and that you can also build around. They cut Weather Seed Treaty for Legolas's Quick Reflexes. This card is a very efficient, very powerful magic card. Uh, I guess you got to make cuts somewhere, right? Um, to add stuff. Weather Seed Treaty, this card ended up actually being a lot better than I thought. Um, but also one that I understand why you would cut it. This doesn't make much sense to me. They cut Onderol. Oh, God. Onderol for Cauldre Complete. I'm glad Cauldre Complete is back. This card is absurdly powerful. Um, but Onderol, I'm, I'm shocked to see that it didn't see that much play. Because this card is really good. Like, this is genuinely a terrifying piece of equipment. Kind of like that conversation we had with Bitter Blossom. Is that it's just, it puts so many bodies on the board. It makes evasive bodies. It combos with other cards that have been, have shown themselves to be very powerful. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't understand this one. Uh, maybe I'm missing some, some data or whatever. I'd be interested to, to hear the thoughts from other drafters ab about this. But um, yeah, this, this one, I like adding this. I also find cutting this one to be a little weird. Um, yeah, cutting hard to cure and that's fine. The hard to cure and is whatever. Love to see uh, Rel Quarter back in here. Very cool. Cutting Mistress Factory for City of Traders. Yeah, Factory and Mutavault are very awkward. Factory gets a little more awkward because you're never playing it in the artifact deck. You're playing it in the, like, monocolored aggressive deck, and then even then, it's just often better to play a color, or a land, like a basic. Um, City of Traders is cool. It's, I mean, it's City of Traders. Uh, they cut patches for Sir Ginger. I like Sir Ginger. Sir Ginger's pretty interesting. Uh, patches is a little awkward. It, like, you really need to commit to this and you just like can't do it, you know? Well, 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 what do we have here? Ah, if it isn't roaming throne getting cut, boy, do I feel justified. Um, yeah, I, I never thought this card was good. I thought this card was like a thing. I, I, people, uh, this this maybe is also just directed at Paiwo, but <laughs> I never, I never saw this card doing a goddamn thing except someone being like, "Ha, I have twenty trophies. Look at me clown on this person playing a cube draft on their like while they're at their parents' house on vacation, uh, and I'm beating them with roaming throne because I thought it would be funny." 
And it's like, okay, sure. And it, yeah, Roman Dunn deserves a nomination for the screenshot award, but it wasn't powerful enough during the status. And then Chromatic Star. Chromatic Star and Chromatic Sphere, egg. Uh, also really good to have. Uh, they do stuff with the artifact decks. They work with Luris. They work with Splashes. They replace themselves. They're cheap. They're genuinely just like really strong cards. They're great. They're kind of busted. Like they do a thing, <laughs> cost of inclusion, very low. They synergize, they replace themselves, they fix mana. They're great. They cut the big boat for Relic of Pachandis. Uh, I found this to be weird because I personally found that the reanimator decks got worse. <laughs> so, sure. They cut Sundering Titan for Kozilek. Also feels a little weird. Um, Titan... Cutting the, I mean, obviously them saying cut this for this isn't always going to be a straight, like this is out because of this, but you know, what it's, it's, it's a, it's a good way to at least relay this information, but it, I understand cutting this. I don't like adding this to the cube, um, or it feels unnecessary. I like that they had Sundering Titan. I feel like Sundering Titan is a cool card to have for sneak attack, the artifact decks, uh, for monocolored or two color reanimator decks. There are a lot of triumphs running around, all that jazz. Kozilek is just a weird like channel card. I guess if they're saying it's potential counterplay to brain freeze, that's kind of interesting. Kozilek is always like the, he's the weirdo of the bunch, you know? You know him well. Very, very odd card. I, I don't know who's asking for this. I would honestly prefer Kozilek Distortion of, um, is a distortion of uh, the Great Distortion. Goes like the Great Distortion also works with Channel, can like help out that. I mean, not that that deck needs help. Works with Channel, um, has a cool ability, but also might not line up super well with what the Channel decks are also playing in their you know their decks and. Feels like if you're adding a Kozilek, they add the wrong Kozilek. Maybe that's on me. Uh, Worm Coil, yeah, yeah, this is... It can take over some games. It's like I did end up playing it in some decks, but it's not whatever. Uh, they added Talisman of Indulgence. Talismans are in a weird spot. I don't know if I'd prefer to see Signets back, uh, but Talismans, they still see some play. Signets are much better than Talismans. Uh, especially nowadays, I think. I don't know. But man, now that I'm saying it out loud, there are a lot of like one pip cards that are pretty strong. Um, but like, Talismans are in a kind of a weird spot. They're not what they used to be. This is unfortunate. I loved the crab. Crab was so cool. Crab deck. I mean, we drafted some sick crab decks doing doomsday stuff, fast bond stuff. I, I am un, I wish the crab stuck around big fan of the crab. Stern scolding is a really good card. Kind of odd that it wasn't in there in the first place. Uh, they cut intuition. That makes sense. This card like popped up, did like exactly one thing and was always just like, not great. Phantasmal image is kind of an interesting one. Uh, it, it shows up. It's fine. There are certain decks and strategies that would really want to have access to image, and it's nice to have the image as kind of counterplay in some spots, but, you know. Uh, memory Lapse, weird card to have out. I guess they can only have so many counter spells. Uh, lose Focus, very good magic card, but also, oddly enough, like, it's not a bad card, but it's like the worst one for cube as far as the, the two mana counter spells go. I think it's actually worse than Miscalc. Um in in cube and memory lapse is like absurd this card i mean gladiator player players know mind's desire getting lost is uh a bit of a bit of a sad day bit of a sad day sunfall is kind of a neat card to add though um you know exiling making artifacts i'm okay with this seal of removal <laughs> yeah what the fuck are we doing here dress down is great glad that they're adding dress down really helps uh against the the flash decks and the uh, well some of the flash decks i guess uh yeah it's just a good card to have they cut shark typhoon for Deshaun's tide binder again totally reasonable tide binder pretty strong they cut unctus this card is terrible uh, and they added friends at gadgeteer this card this is the new one three mana two three cast an artifact make a clue and then artifacts you have their activate abilities cost one less but it can't be zero. 
Oh, there it is. Uh, card's great. Card's absurd. They cut Contagion for cut down. Contagion, I like the free spells, but it was a little weird. You are like, it's so awkward when you draw the Contagion, you just like can't hit their inti and you're like, oh, or Lelia, like it doesn't do the job. Cut down is just a good magic card. Uh, it's cheap. Great. They cut Putrid Imp. Bit unfortunate. But I guess Putrid Imp has gotten worse. Um, this is not... There are plenty of ways to get cards into the graveyard that also don't require you to play the Putrid Imp. Also, like, if you're doing, the, like, the Oath of Druids kind of stuff, this might make it a little awkward. Like, Oath of Druids reanimate or whatever. And Unearth is so sick. I love Unearth and Cube. There's just so many good utility creatures uh like if you build your deck the right way you are always getting a, a three mana card with us and it rules but you know what's the fucked up thing they cut eternal witness so you can't unearth eternal witness which is just like such a sick line to have and that stinks don't know why they did that but what are you gonna do uh and then they cut hex mage for jadar X Mage is, yeah, kind of awkward. I mean, it they say it here. It comes with Depths. It can kill Planeswalkers. I kind of don't mind Hex Mage. The fact that Comet isn't in this cube makes Hex Mage a little worse. Um, but they did add some big loyalty uh, Planeswalkers. Like, Doretti gets pretty high up on the loyalty. Obviously, Oko is in here and stuff. Uh, I like both these cards. If there was a way to have them both, I'd prefer to have them both. But, you know, they don't. Uh, yeah, cool. So overall, I think I like the changes. There's some interesting cards uh, that they cut that I'm a little sad about. But what are you going to do? I'm curious to see what they left in. I mean, there are certain cards where, like, I think they might still be in the cube. Fuck, am I that far behind? When did this come out? Seven days? I only have a week? Oh, come on. Well, I can't make a... Tr I don't think I can make a trophy run for this. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. How you doing, chat? How you been? How you been? you're having a day and a half i just got an email yalk i briefly looked at it uh holy shit i will give a proper look at it when i'm not what not streaming but uh uh my condolences Okay, so this pack has a Mock Sapphire, which I'm going to pick, but also this pack is, like, kind of stacked. Uh, we have Fury, Hull Breacher, Orcish Bowmasters, and Balance. That, this, this pack rules. Uh, if the Sapphire weren't here, I think I play... I think I like Bowmasters better than Hull Breacher. Hull Breacher is absurd. Hull Breacher, may, but it's pretty close. I don't I like Fury, too. Um... I think Hull Breacher has a higher ceiling. I think Bowmasters is a better card that'll show up and do a thing in more decks. Fury is cracked, and I like Fury quite a bit. Balance I like too, but you know, it's, uh, yeah. It's also going to be interesting playing all these in in the uh, context of um of the new the new cube. Uh okay, what do we have here? There's a Sheldock Isle. There's a Bayou. I don't really want to take Jace Friends Prodigy this early. There are some good red card, well there's some cheap efficient red cards. Is the Ogmos will Oh shit, I wanted to talk about some of the previews too. Kind of want to talk about all the cards from Fallout. Oh yeah, the HelloFresh thing is... Sorry, this is set up for uh, Chandelar. I think I can take Sheldock Isle. I like Sheldock Isle still. I'm still pretty pretty into Sheldock Isle. Oh. Had a lot of people mention Ratthew. 
there was a very cute moment at uh, one of the signings where somebody mentioned Rathew and then like everybody around them were like, oh, Rathew, I love Rathew. Um. Okay. Oh, they left in Doomsday stuff. Oh, okay. All right, what do we have here? We we could be a Cryptic Command gamer. It is very early in the draft, but I've picked two blue cards. There's a Thieving Skydiver. I really like Thieving Skydiver. Yeah, Rapthew is the name of the rat that spins. <laughs> Neither of these cards are blue. What do you mean? What do you mean? Color identity. <laughs> Uh, Skydiver or Cryptic Command, I guess, if I want to keep blue. This pack's kind of unexciting. Um, hmm. Skydiver's a better card. But Cryptic Command is Cryptic Command. Also, Cryptic Command's better with Shell Dock Isle. I'm going to take Skydiver, though. Cryptic Command might actually wheel. Oh, that's a late mana drain. Holy smokes. This is actually a pretty good sign that we might wheel Cryptic Command because if mana drain has made it this far um, and we have taken a blue card for every pick, uh, we might be able to get this mana drain, which is great. I like mana drain. I like mana drain a lot. Oh, yeah. Mink, thank you for reminding me. Uh <clears throat> I was really wanting you to dial down on that line of thought you had. I don't think that Malort is good any more than red wine or tequila is good. It's a bad drink. I've drank things in Iraq that the more sensitive members of your community would that would get ripped out of the room at. And I've taught little kids how to make swamp water. It's just a drink. Very good coffee pasta. Yeah, you love to see the old classics. You know, the classics are classics for a reason. Um, how you doing, Mink? I tried Malort, and I really liked Malort. I mean, really liked is pretty strong. I liked Malort. I would drink it again. Um, yeah. It tastes like absinthe at home, or just like, I don't know. I, uh, I'll never... I, I I like strong flavors, right? I'm going to take the Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is the best card in this pack for our deck. I mean, we could pick a, a non-blue card. I don't think I need to. Fairy Mastermind is also pretty good, but Spell Pierce is just so cheap. Um, And then, yeah, could take this Mastermind. This is kind of like a Mentor deck. It's late CZ PZ too. All right, Jace, get in here. We got Moxin. We got Mana Drain. Like, we, we have a setup for a Jace here. Um, I'm going to take this Jace. Ooh, Frantics. I mean, I don't think Frantic Search is going to wheel. But, like, there are a bunch of stuff, cards from this pack that I could I could wheel. Uh, yeah, I like Malort. I had two different Malort strengths, uh, drinks, and I enjoyed them both. Okay, well, that's a late duress. So this is a very late doomsday. Uh, do I really want to do a doomsday deck the first draft? Duress is really good. Ledger Shredder is also quite good. Okay, chat, quick. I got 20 seconds. Do I take duress or do I take doomsday and meme? That sunken ruins is there. I bet I, I have the shell dock aisle. I've got the mock sapphire. The rest, the rest, the rest. Okay, everybody wants to rest. Great. Thank you for keeping me uh, on track here. Uh, I don't think I'm playing any of these cards. Don't. This isn't really the making of an unhollow uh, an uh, upheaval deck. This isn't the making of an unhollow deck. Hmm. I could take Ashen Rider. There was a very late Necromancy. I don't think those red cards are coming around. It's Sail to the West or uh, Ashen Rider. Or I could take Kozilek. I'm just going to take Kozilek, actually. There's a Daze. Daze is still in this pack? This is our pack. Daze is still in the pack? Okay, so blue is open. Wide open. I'm going to take Daze. Very weird that this Deep Cavern Bat's here, too. Is just nobody playing... 
black or blue? Or red? What are people picking? What's 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 going on here? Um, two very good red cards in the pack. I am shocked. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I could take Tenacious Underdog. It is a black card to go with Duress. I might take Chain Lightning and hopefully we'll get the Rabble Master next. I don't think I'm playing. You know what? I'm going to take a gamble. Chain Lightning and then the Rabble Master coming up. Did not happen. Um, That's okay. I could take Grave Titan. Grave Titan can go under the Shell Dock Isle. We have a Moxin. This card is actually quite strong. I think I want to take the Delayed Fast Fireball. What else is coming around that's in black? Should I just take Sunken Runes? I'll take sunken runes actually i'll take sunken the rabble i knew it well i didn't know it i thought it wouldn't happen i'm gonna take rabble master what the fuck is going on uh, i'll take the mastermind here I, i'm not gonna play either of these cards last pick doomsday okay the dream's still alive the dream is still alive what is going on in this draft who knows who knows we got some, that was a very weird pack. I expected people to make uh, certain picks where good cards would be removed from the draft and that was not the case. Okay, well, this one's really, really good for us. Uh, I'm sorry for everybody that voted against Doomsday because they didn't want to see Doomsday, but I'm going to pick this Ancestral Recall and then I can wheel Thoracal, Vamp, Reign of Filth, or Underground Sea. Or, if we end up getting more powerful red cards, we could get this recall and then wheel Malcolm or Karizev. Or, if we don't want to get, if we want to stay blue-black, um, I mean, we can even play this Time Warp, honestly. Time Warp's really good with Jace, good with Rabble Master, good with Shell Dock Isle, good with Moxon, good with Malcolm, but, you know, same pack. I'm going to take Ancestral Recall. There's Flash. There's also an Ulamog. Uh, there's a Sword Stablashers. This pack doesn't really have any blue cards. There's a con there's a Coveted Jewel. I th I, th I really like Doomsday. I've, uh, I, I was a big fan of Doomsday in the previous cube. Um, I mean, it's early. I'm kind of kicking myself for not taking Ashen Rider. Uh, Flash Ashen Rider is not that great. I think I got to take the Flash though. It's early enough in the draft that we can get stuff for Flash. If I get a World Spine Worm, it's just so absurd. Oh, well... There's Gut. Gut works out quite nicely with Rabble Master. Gut works with our Moxon. Uh, I bet that Storm Carved Coast is going to wheel too. I'm going to take Gut. We could we could be a we could be like a pretty good uh, blue red deck. I think it's a very late Palace Jailer. Culture complete. I'm just going to take Arid Mesa. I will need to pick up a. Um, uh, I could play this duress still. Who knows? Uh, I need to pick up a, a blue red duel uh, or a triome, but I think who we can do that. Holy shit! Caracas is busted. Solitude is busted. Uh, I don't think I can kappa. We don't have the deck for a kappa. What is this pack? What is this draft? What is going on? Am I out of touch? Like we could be a third path iconoclast deck. I think we're actually turning out to be a reasonable third path iconoclast deck. Um, the question is, do I take the third path and then wheel the Raptor? Or I think I can wheel this third path. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Caracas here and then try to wheel this third path because we also have this Arid Mesa that if we get a good white card, we could actually splash it. The problem is like Swords was already out here. And playing path isn't exactly the same. We could just be Jeskai. Parallax Wave is very good. Jesus. This pack had Swords, Solitude, into Path to Exile. I don't actually hate taking Path to Exile here. Because Blue-Red can struggle with the big creatures. I think I like it better. Like, Vantage will wheel. Paradox, Paradox Wave, probably not going to wheel. Because there was a Palace Jailer here, too. But... 
Um, and I'll take this path to exile. There's an expressive iteration. There's a robber of the rich. There's a trumpeting carnosaur. Um, I think I want EI. If this pack was overall stronger, I think I would take Carnosaur and then we could wheelie. I oh, we can take Mystical because we have uh, Ancestral Recall. We can Mystical Tutor for Ancestral Recall and then try to wheel this EI. I bet EI will wheel. Chandra. I think I'm taking Chandra over Deserted Beach. Uh, I don't know if I'm committing to playing this path. This Krakus is still just quite good by itself. Chandra is also just a good blue red top end card. Karizev works really well with gut, kind of fits into what we're doing here. Um, I think I like Arc Trail over these two lands. They're kind of awkward for us. Am I a Sahili deck? We kind of have like a tokens theme going on. I could take Sahili and try to pick up a uh or shadow spear sahili or shadow spear i think i'm going to take sahili the fuck is this should i just try that's so i'm not playing any of these cards i'll take palace jailer well maybe i'm playing some of these cards who knows what is what is going on what is going on what is going on <laughs> what is going on hello uh, am I playing this wave? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the wave. Okay. Third path didn't wheel. That's kind of interesting. Third path would have been great for this deck, too. I definitely thought we would get something on a wheel. I don't understand. Uh, and Expressive Iteration also didn't wheel. But I'm okay. Mox, or re Recall for... Mystical for Recall. Also, if we open something that we want to flash, being able to find a flash target... Uh, or being able to uh, find flash is always good. Uh, there's a Rogavan. I'm going to be taking Rogavan. That means we're leaving in Twister. Black Caddy, Mac Daddy with the hoe up in the backseat, as per usual. Uh, and there's a Brainstorm in this pack. And yeah, I'm going to take Rogavan and then try to wheel Flame Slash or Brainstorm. I'm still looking out for a Volcanic Island. There's an Archon for our Flash. Oh, the, okay. Well, never mind. I'm glad that my chimp brain, honestly, because HD posted that emote and because we had just picked monkey, my brain was still thinking about monkey. So I'm glad I was able to actually be like, oh, broadside bombardiers. This card's pretty good, especially with uh, rabble master tokens, gut, moxin, treasure tokens, Kari Zev. Yeah, I think I should just be blue, <laughs> red. Um, I still don't have a Steam Vents or a Volk. That might be tough, actually, to get. Um, I think I'm going to pick Lelia because we don't have a huge amount of counter spells. Brazen Borrowers are kind of... Oh, Brazen Borrowers is a nice pickup, but I kind of just want Bobble. Um... Yeah, do I want Bobble? Bobble's like kind of nice. We're like a blue red tempo y kind of deck. I think I want Bobble. Man, Brazen Borrower kills people. Borrower kills people. People Borrower also gives me another piece of interaction. Yeah, actually, I want Borrower here. I think Bobble's been probably a better card for this deck, but I like having another piece of interaction. Really hoping that flame slash wheels. I imagine it will. Mm. Do people just not know that this is the art? Oof. And there's a bad lands in this pack. <clears throat> Um, we could take Lavamancer. I don't think we're a Lavamancer deck. We might be a Charter Course deck more than a Lavamancer deck. Lavamancer is just another creature. It gives me removal. I have some amount of cheap spells. Mm. There's also Urza. Urza's not nothing. We have Mox and we have, eh. Do I need another? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take this Urza. 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to take World Spine Worm because now we have Flash World Spine Worm, um, which is kind of sick. Oh, FTK. That's a good card for the board. Or Hellrider. Hellrider actually... This deck's in a couple of directions. I think... We don't need the Hellrider. So I'm going to take FTK. Uh, Gitaxian Probe, I'll take. It's just a great cheap card. Flame Slash came around. That's what we like to hear. Even though there's Hangerback Walker and friends. Uh, I think I'm going to save Flash... World Spine. This might be incorrect, but I, I might say Flash World Spine for um, game two. Oh, Fire Ice is a nice pickup. Yeah, after people, after we beat down in game one, if we bring in um, the beat down in game one and then bring in the Flash combo, game two. Hellrider Sahili is pretty funny. It is Ahoy Darth Gabri. I'm doing good. Mm, get this figure. Don't think I'm playing it. Hi, Bubba. Hi. Oh, the bobble came around. Wouldn't you know it? This deck, uh, deck looks pretty good. Lavamancer is a totally reasonable card to play. I'd even play it in the main deck, actually, over this FTK. It's kind of a low curve. Yeah. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sick. Let's say hi. Say hi. Oh. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Look, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello. You wave at them? Hello. 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 Oh, you need a brush. Isn't Sahili good with the cheap interaction? Yeah, it's it's Sahili might be fine. I'm a little less impressed with it at this point where I think I would rather have like Lavamancer just because it's more aggressive. I think we are taking a more aggressive cut against them. You know? Yeah, this deck looks good. Uh, the man is one of the issues, but do I even want Sheldock Isle? Hmm. I might not even play the Sheldock Isle. We're not a great Sheldock Isle deck, and we're definitely a deck that is going to benefit from having untapped mana every turn. I don't think I'd take Sheldock Isle. Did I ever get a new mic cover that doesn't smell like bell peppers? Uh, no, not yet. Actually, thank you for reminding me. I'm going to do that right now. Yes, yeah, I'm going to keep it in my sideboard. There, There's a package here uh, of these cards. I mean, it's more accurately probably a package of, like, these cards. Or... This. Weird draft. Very weird draft. I think I could have maybe been more aggressive into picking some of the white cards. Like, I see that swords, I'm like... It's a cheap white card, but it was it was some other with some other good cards. How expensive is Flash? That to purchase very very little, I think. Yeah, you don't want to hang out. You don't want to hang out. You just want to come by, get a bunch of scritches, and leave. Huh? Oh, I see. I forgot that I have a portion of this. Oh, the fetch? 
Hmm. I mean, I guess. I could also play this Caracas. I'm a little wary against playing the Caracas because I think that this is a pretty reasonable mana drain deck. Or it has pretty reasonable hover hover. There are pretty reasonable mana drains we can resolve on two. Mana gonna be pretty bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Although our costs are pretty good, right? Like the only double pipped card that we have before turn four is this mana drain. I'm not counting this brazen borrower because it's basically up here. Like it's so rarely is are you actually just hard casting this borrower? Um instead of like tempo bouncing or properly getting something out of the way and then casting this when you have don't have much else to do with your mana which is nice we have treasure generation from Ragavan to make it a little easier on us you know our mana base is not sexy uh but I feel like we can cast our spells. You know? This hand seems pretty good. There we go. Eggs, eggs, this one's a little slow. Last night, people at local Canlander event were talking about GT to zero. Would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, out of curiosity, is your local Canlander event near like a facility where, um, there are a lot of, uh, toxic fumes, maybe some like a, a carbon monoxide leak, um, you know, what's, go what's going on there? Any <laughs> lead paint in the LGS? Uh, Griffin, thank you for all the support. That means a lot to me. Uh, GTA is incredible at one point. It is so fucking good at one point. Yeah. I, uh, free rolling GTA is, yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that I understand. I, I can understand how a conversation can get to that. Because it's one of those things where you're like, hey, yeah, how bad could it be? <laughs> and then and then just think about every deck with creatures playing Umezawa's Jite. Think about how, because one point is still, like, it's not a huge cost, but it's at least a cost. Um, where... Think about how often you say Uma is always GTA nowadays, which is still in most creature decks, right? They're willing to pay that point. Um, or even mid-range decks that are willing to, like white X mid-range decks mostly, but they're willing to make that consideration. Um, and that's, like, it's still popular. It's a powerful card. And then if it's everywhere... Dear God, please miss a land drop. Please miss a land drop. Shit. Is this another creature? It is. Okay. We got oathed. We have car. We have like Jace, which would be kind of funny. We have drawn quite a few lands. Also, thank you for the 43 months. Yeah, what's the, what's the worst they can do? Our 
arc trail our own bombardier mm, i don't think i'm winning the game if i do that i mean there's a chance that i'm just losing the game anyways take an arc on me here tracks is pretty good we get to see what they're doing We basically get to see their entire deck. They have Treachery, Portal, so they probably have Tinker. They've got the Jewel. They've got an Academy. Okay. Yeah, it's a 2-2 still. We can beat Atraxa. <clears throat> we have cards to beat Atraxa. Mm. It's a little tough. Because they have treachery. Excuse me. But we can be our tracks. So. Tap that other land. <laughs> They've been playing around days this entire game. Makes it a little tough. Whether intentional or not. Oh, here we go. Uh, Yeah, you know what? Fuck that Thran Dynamo in particular. Sick. Uh, four lands in a row from draw steps alone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're now they're like, oh, Mystic Confluence. They got a Mystic Confluence. They got Cryptic. You want treachery my broadside of Hmm. That's a good one. Very good protein bar. I think I could be a protein bar gamer. Maybe that's my path. My path to weight loss has me eating like a, a squirrel. Okay. Yeah, see, we can beat this Atraxa. Are you kidding me? Our X bar sponsorship. Ooh. <clears throat> Can we turn the oath to our advantage? Um well maybe. Is this card blurry or is it just me? The broadside bombardiers is like blurrier than the Atroxa than like anything. Are my glasses smudged? I don't think I'm uh having an event i'm not blurry <laughs> that's nice of you to say i do have my lights on i'm looking rather sharp thank you um hmm. yeah i feel like i'm losing my mind should i put the sharpness up Okay, it's definitely Moto. Thank God. It's definitely Magic Online. And not my brain. I have a vest on? Yeah. You like it? You like it? I think I wanna, I got an aesthetic choice that I'd like to stick to. 
Oh yeah, regrowth Tolarian Academy. That can't be right. <coughs> yeah, I've got a new aesthetic look that I'd like to work towards. It is inspired by the the old man deck just dripped out that I saw on my way to work one day. No, not tech, bro. God, not tech, bro. Do I give you tech bro? Do I give off tech bro vibes? I mean, I definitely was in the group of people that um, wore eggs, uh, eggs, <laughs> like a button up every day. Button up with uh, a button up with uh, raw denim. Oh, we get to wait. Why are they doing this? We get to oath now. Which means I can probably kill Atraxa and probably kill Teferi. I mean, hopefully. Uh, Simone, welcome back for the 56th month. How you doing? The we new Wheeler look versus Dior's new look. I have the ego for it. <laughs> well, what do you mean I have the ego for it? That's a bit. I'm doing a bit. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Here's a gut. Oh, they have sexed. Attack to fairy. Oh, how do I do this? Attack to fairy. Oh, was I supposed to do this pre combat? Attack to fairy. And then I make the skeleton. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. We attack to fairy. Yeah. Then I make the skeleton. Oh, I think I was supposed to kill this first. Attack that. Um... And then, do I go to... I think I go to blocks. I let them go to blocks. Wait, what? Oh, it's mana value, right? Whoops. Surely they don't have a second oath target. <laughs> Playing around oath. <clears throat> no, I also just forgot what this card does. Why did... Oh, it's two plus the permanence mana value. For whatever reason, I was like, it's power, right? If that's the case, I could have played that a little differently. I think I would have been fine. Urza. You have Oath of Druids into Urza? That's dope. <clears throat> hey, quick question. I want you to help edit a commander deck. Does it need to be the 25 horse here? There's a method. There is a uh, method. It's a uh, direct donation. Yeah. Coffee, PayPal. There's a there's a link. There should be a link uh in the bayou. Bayou. Bio. Fuck. Elliot, what up? How you doing, bud? 
How you doing? How you been? How was the travel? How am I already streaming again? We got home last night, and I actually slept, and I haven't streamed for a while. Pussy and bye. <laughs> Please. Do you get an edited deck, or can just ask why the changes? Usually when people submit it, they do get an edited deck. Um, and, uh... Oh, because it's the enchantment. Oh, yeah, I think I killed myself here. I think I could have won this game. But I got a lot of good information here. They have an Urza in this deck. And a Troxa. So their Oath of Druids can hit, like, not relevant targets. It's kind of interesting. I don't think I want the flash package. I think I'm fine with what I have. We did draw quite a bit of lands there. <clears throat> but that's okay. I also think I could have played that a little bit better. Reading the card would have explained the card. I'm going to keep this. But if we uh, get to Oath and put in World Spine, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, Timo, the, the donation thing, <coughs> excuse me, um, is also a, somebody like you give money, you give deck list or deck idea. I come back with updated deck list or complete, you know, deck list, and then tell you why I made these changes or why I did what I did. You going to Oath of Druids me? You're gonna Oath of Druids me. No, you're not. You're gonna Grime Monolith me. Ancestral Recall. At least Lavamancer is pretty good into Oath of Druids. You can just Lavamancer itself. If we need to. Control is floundering pretty hard in seven point. My feeling is it's because traditional one for one recoup card advantage can't compete. Uh, is control star struggling? Yeah, it's just control doesn't really. Uh, the definition of control in mid range and whatnot doesn't really matter anymore. You can still do it, uh, but it's not going to be as powerful as just like accepting that you have to play the uh, most efficient spells slash, um, you know, uh, like cheap, cheap removal, counter magic, interaction, card selection, and all that. And like the difference between like a Jeskai control list or a Jeskai midrange deck is like nine cards. Like it is not... It's not a thing, which kind of sucks because the identity of these decks and the archetypes and all that is pretty, pretty set in stone and pretty interesting. I'm going to play my rabble babble, my babble master. Jersey Mike's. I had, Jer I've had Jersey Mike's before. Oh, I had White Castle. I forgot to mention. I had White Castle. We were... <laughs> we were... We get to the hotel on Thursday. It's kind of late. We didn't really want to get actual proper food. Um, but we wanted to make sure, at the very least, we would pick up supplies. Like a bunch of water... Um, granola bars, you know, the usual, the stuff that actually lets you survive and get through a con. Um, and we go to this place in Chinatown uh, to grab the... I guess I should have attacked with this as well if they kill this, but maybe this threatens that if they kill that, they take two and I kill them, so whatever. Um... We, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. P and Avers, I, I, I have this, may, it'll all make sense. It'll all make sense. And I, uh, we're, we're walking. It's like all the, the entire lure crew is going for it. Um, 
and uh it's not that bad of a walk importantly we're also walking towards a dispensary so the plan is to go to a dispensary and then to go to uh the the walgreens that we're on our way to and let me say this about chicago and a lot of the midwest is that the structure of everything whether uh, the structure of everything is very walkable in that there's plenty of room on the sidewalks uh there are art and uh, like art installations on the street and stuff and it, it looks not that bad honestly um however i believe it is a byproduct of having of to make Sina. everything wider for cars which obviously stinks and i think chicago has some of the worst drivers i have ever seen yeah, we're in Chinatown, Chicago. It was quite nice. Um, <laughs> and, um, oh, okay. But every the the also the part about it not being walkable is that eggs, everything eggs, is so far eggs, away. Eggs. Now, for like, look, I'm a fat guy, but I'm also a Canadian. Which means if I have to walk 40 minutes to the Walgreens, obviously annoying if that's a thing that you have to do for a, uh, for, for, for like an emergency or whatever, right? Um, but it's not really the end of the world when it comes to, uh, like, yeah, we'll have it. We'll just, we'll just walk. Like, that sounds nice. Taking a walk sounds nice. Ooh. Um, so that, that was actually kind of nice. Uh, we go by this dispensary. It says they were open online. They are not open because they are newly opened. It was literally there. We just opened this up today. We had an, a very small window in the morning. Yeah, you know, we had our like our first day grand opening, and then they were having like a staff party. Uh, oh, that's sick. Show me how dicked I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was. Uh, so unfortunately, we were not able to uh, pick up our. Uh, um, pick up anything at the dispensary until Nelly made a run for it uh, later on and then I forgot to uh, actually take any of them which may have impacted my sleep one of the things that impacted my sleep um, so we walk to this uh, oh shit maybe somebody can help me too we, we go to the Walgreens and we pick up all the real stuff that we need but also there's like a bar called like a snunch or a crun crustunch crunch <laughs> like it had some is it snunch is it actually snunch no it wasn't a crunch bar we have crunch bars it was oh what the fuck was it called it was like cookie with like a marshmallow kind of thing on top let me let me see if i can find this uh cookie with marshmallow on top strawberry candy bar it had a i don't even know what its name was it it looked fake it no not s'more like it it looked fake and so we bought it there nelly had a video of it actually maybe maybe it'll show it off um and it was uh it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it was still a bad decision because it's like, I, I we ate it. We try, we all ate it because it was very funny. And it was like, oh, I wish I didn't do that, but turns out it's not poisonous. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sponch, it was sponch. Thank you, Elijah. Sponch, let me see if I can find it. Uh, photo, sponch. <laughs> yeah. There it is, sponge. <laughs> the sponge. 
We thought it was so funny. We thought it was so funny. Oh my god. So we got the sponge. Very sad. And then on our way back, we're walking back. And I don't know why. Graham, we had walked past the White Castle. And we were like, we're not going to get White Castle. Why would we get White Castle? Um, but we're walking. As we're walking back, uh, Graham is... Uh, Graham's like, mm, actually, White Castle sounds pretty good right now. Because they had something called a cheese sack. It was like, it was like a $10 cheese sack. And we were just losing it, you know, hooting and hollering. Goofy ass name. Um, oh, how do I do this? If I dash out the Rogavon, they block Rogavon. I'd have to kill it. They take two. That's the same as using Lava Man. If I play Rogavon and the Lelia, Lelia, um, I can't do the Lelia. I mean, I could Lelia, I could try to Lelia into Brazen Borrower. Can I race this? They're going to go up to 14 and go down to 11. I don't know if I can do this. <clears throat> Like I can attack and then the, the Lava Mance are one of my own things. Hard casting is what's kind of rough. Um, am I beating this? They have seven cards in hand. Am I realistically, am I beating this? <clears throat> so I can try to... We could just try to hit Brazen Borrower. Because my other burn spell is Sorcery Speed, right? I'll finish this White Castle story, I promise. Um, is it literally? Oh, we have Fire Ice too. Okay, so we have two cards that we can hit here. Um, I just kind of, I want to figure out if I'm losing this afterwards. Ponder an island in that. And you pick mystical. They're going to get to arc trail, but they're going to get to mystical tutor. That's kind of scary. I think I have to go for it. I don't think I'm winning this game if I don't. Because they're going to gain seven. <laughs> they go up to 14, go to 11 from this. Um, and then they get to cast a spell and I could spell pierce the mystical tutor. Hmm. Maybe I just play out my cards and then chill. They have sunfall in their deck. I just do it. If, if I play and chill, play out my stuff. Chill on the spell pierce. Or play out Lelia. Or I don't need to play them out, I guess. We just spell pierce. Or I could just go for it. Am I winning this game if I let them hit me with Atraxa? I go to 12. No, because like they they have net did they pick Nettle Cyst? Wait, what? Oh, they exile Mystical Tutor. No, I did that. That threw me off. They don't have Mystical Tutor. They chose Enlightened Tutor, Island, Exploration, Ponder, and Manifold Key. And they discarded Ponder and Enlightened Tutor. Their hand is so good that they didn't need the cards that they hit. I'm going for it. I'm fucking going for it. I'm going for it. I can't Lelia plus dash the Rogavon because then they block the Lelia. 
and then Lelia dies. I mean, we could do this and then hit them for a truckload. <clears throat> I think I have to go... Like, we could let them kill Lelia. That's really bad, though. Because Lelia is going to be too big for the Lava Mancer. Yeah. This isn't a May. But we can respond to this if we want to. Brazen Barber or Fire Ice, please. Okay. They might do this poorly. We could also hit something off of the Raghavan. <clears throat> Like, I won't just concede. We could hit a thing. We didn't hit a thing. We hit an island. They're at 10. Raghavan, uh, Trax has three on it. Can't burn it out. Raghavan's going back to hand. They're going to go to seven. And they go up to 14. Uh, and then they go down to 11. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll keep playing. I'll keep playing. I don't think, I mean, if I decide, if I'm going to keep playing after this, then shouldn't I just play the Lelia and pass? Don't give a shit about that. We hit lands. Lelia hit a land, Raghavan hit a land, Manifold Key. I mean, that doesn't really matter. It makes this Academy add more mana. Couldn't we trade with the Troxa? No. Okay, untapping the Monolith. No, it had three damage marked on it. We only have two. <clears throat> It's only going to grow... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's only going to grow three... Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, yes, no, because it's a... It's exactly... It's not growing enough. It's it's only growing one. Yeah. I guess what I mean is... Uh, yes. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. It's a lot of mana. You doing anything with it? Upheaval. That's so much mana. Portal to Phyrexia. Ha 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 <coughs> That's pretty funny. You want to tap that one ring? Yeah, at least I made continuing the play worth it. I mean, we might be able to still take this out, right? Not if we draw a land. All right, I'm going to call it there. Unfort. Starting off with an L. Love to see it. Attracts it too good. That is, I mean, I mentioned this when uh, we were drafting the deck where one of the issues 
Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on one second. AEW just got rescheduled to May 1st. Oh. That's so fucked. I just got the email. I just made sure all the final bookings were done. <sighs> okay. Very cool. Very cool. That is a lot of stuff to reschedule and cancel. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right, all right. I'm going to do my best to not get distracted now. But obviously I'm a little distracted because that's going to be a shitload of stuff to work around. This is why we can't have shit in New York. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> <clears throat> Does casting Ancestral ever feel bad? I mean, the three land Ancestral in some matches feels pretty bad. Uh, apologies for missing y'all. Uh, M. Bilby for the second month. The smiley face. How you doing? How you been? <clears throat> Thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Uh, and Chronically Poor for the 46th month. Howdy. It was a pleasure to meet you and get a game in in Chicago. Yeehaw. Uh, we drove, and I will never choose to do that again. It was a nightmare. Driving in, in Chicago, uh, yeah, a nightmare is a great way of wording that. It, uh, Chicago is an interesting... It's an interesting town as far as driving goes. <clears throat> I have a pretty sick line here. Okay. <laughs> I win the, oh, leads the match. I, I saw that. I thought it said won the match. Um, They look like a deck that might lose to Flame Tongue Kavu. I kind of just want to run it back. What do I cut? Like Jace? Jace feels like it's potentially not as good. I don't think I saw enough. I didn't, realistically, I didn't see enough. One sec. I did I even start the music? Oh my god. Does there just be no music this entire time? Chad, I'm pissed. I am fucking pissed. Uh I'll keep this. I I am on tilt. I am on tilt. I am actively on tilt. <clears throat> Yeah, let me finish this White Castle story. Um, hold on. 
Oh, I need to. GS eggs. Sorry, apologies, one second. Good thing Jim has COVID because boy, he's going to have his hands full. Oh my God. I am so mad. Chat. I am so mad. Akfar, welcome back for the 58th month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Oh shit. That is so fucking much. Um... Jesus. I'll fi yes. Okay. The white the white castle story. I <laughs> to clarify. I said good thing Jim has COVID in the sense of uh, hey he's not he, he's at home recovering he's not doing anything. That means he'll be able to get all this shit and gear right. Oh that Lelia is going to kill me. Oh fuck fuck fuck. God I'm pissed. Oh, I'm pissed. Ooh, I'm mad. Ooh, I'm mad. All right, okay. I can focus on that after. Um, so we walk, we see this cheesy 10 sack. Don't know what it is. We order, uh, Ben and I split this cheesy 10 sack. Uh, Nelson gets the like impossible burgers. None of us have had White Castle before, by the way. Oh, they drew a moxa. Okay, gonna need a flame slash. Pretty please. I don't think I'm playing the skydiver just to jump block. This draft might be a wash. <sighs> we get we get these burgers. Long story short, uh I really enjoyed White Castle. I had like a like a couple of these sliders. I had a couple of the sliders. We got a 10 sack Nelson or not Nelson. Ben and I split it, but we did have some leftover burgers that we tried to give to Krim, but I forgot about them and they just kind of rotted in my, not rotted. I forgot about them. And then when I was like, oh shit, right. I had a, I had sliders for Krim in, in my hotel room. Flame slash. Um, yeah, it was all right. I'm not a huge fast food guy. Um, but I, I like them. I like them for like very small, like the fact that I feel like I can eat like two of them, three of them, and then be like, I'm done. That would have been, that would have been cool. Yeah, you mind collapse that. I can't even chump block well. Because their hand was double removal. This is cursed. This is cursed. I just, this is... This is cursed. This is cursed. I'm cursed. I am cursed. 
because the original plan so for those under trying to figure out why i have like steam coming out both sides of my head um the plan was that uh i was going to well Kiefer and i were going to go to winnipeg manitoba uh to watch the aew dynamite and rampage uh wrestling event uh that was also just i mean secretly but not secretly it was the um uh man value two plus that so two i don't even have enough to do that i can chandra but i die they have a dismember take six they have a dismember is there anything that i can hit off this no there's not because they have this great um we're going to go to this thing and then also it was just going to be a big filming weekend with the spike feeders um but now this is uh the event has been rescheduled to the beginning of may um which means i want to cut you you're the most vulnerable uh which means that that might that that's gonna have to re change some of these flights change change the hotels obviously have to wait again uh, or wait longer it's uh, a lot it sucks frustrating it's frustrating and it's really annoying and it's just gonna cost money and waste everybody's time and those are my two least favorite things. <laughs> On the plus side, I have a hand with Moxin, Lelia, and Days, and that feels pretty good. Yeah, it's also horse. It's it is horseshit, L. But it's also horseshit um, because I really don't want to have. I wanted to not deal with that today. You know, in fact, I solidified some of that this morning before going live. And I was like, great, I got this shit. I came back, I'm rested. I got this shit out of the way. I've been productive. I look good. You know, I we're, we're, we're golden, baby. We're golden. And then we're not golden now. But on the plus side, I do have a Lelia. Uh, do I want to daze this? Probably not. I don't think I'm going to... They have Mind Collapse. And they have... I think I do want to daze this, actually. And they have Dismember. I want to daze this. Oh my god. Well, there's also the, like, is May 1st going to even work out? Because we have Friday night stuff, you know? <laughs> I, You know what? Actually, I should have seen the Mind Claps as a possibility. Lelia can attack through Ledger Shredder. Uh, I was worried about them using this to find the cards to be able to kill it. Um, but Ledger Shredder into Mind Collapse gets the Lele off the board. And, like, that's kind of appealing, right? Mm, now the question is, do I want to play this Brazen Barber or save it for their own Lele? I think I just want to play a Flash 3 Power Flyer. I am a deck that is looking to kill my opponent. <sighs> That's tilting. That sucks. Ah, another one. 
Gives me conniptions. PCGL Brock. PCGL Brock. Gifting another five subs to the chat. Holy smokes. Oh, oh not the bonus. Another one. They took, they took the two. So they have Gives like counter magic. Uh, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Uh, it's Cat and Bows, Milk Star, Mitch the Quaker, Wayward Runt, uh, and C Tab. Another one. Uh, thank you. That, Gives me uh, conniptions. <clears throat> that's very kind of you. I'm on tilt. If I'm losing this game, it's because I'm on tilt, uh, and I'm I'm blinded by the rage. I yeah. I you know what? I might even just cut. Gives me conniptions. This this draft might be a wash. This draft might be a wash, folks. Ah, uh, another one. <laughs> Vintage Cube Friday Night Paper Fight. We have talked about that. If we did that, I think we would more be interested. Morbius, by the way. Did you hear that? Uh, if we did that, I think we would be interested in a uh, vintage rotisserie draft more than anything. Oh. Sorry, I gotta, I've got, I have to deal with some of this right now, uh, but not all of it. This is not a very exciting pack. Okay. Um, the most exciting... This is a incredibly low-powered pack. Oh, my God. Like, Gitaxian Probe, Chromatic Star, and Thalia. There's Life Death. Thank you, Papa Master Goat. Catch you later. Have a good one. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, I kind of want to take Thalia here and just be the problem. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh. So I could take Parallax Wave here and just really commit to being the problem. Could take Luris. Luris means that we're not going to play Parallax Wave, but we could be alert. Taking Luris early here, it works with Thalia. Works with the kind of cards I'm going to want. If we can wheel Walking Ballista too. You could even just play Luris. I'm going to take Luris. Parallax Wave is more powerful than Luris, but if you can get a good Luris deck or even just like play it, we can end up playing Luris in the... the um, I was going to say... I was going to say the, uh, the 99... Hmm. There's a palace jailer, which makes this Luris pick a little awkward. But also, the picks that we're making might l help Parallax Wave Wheel. Uh, we could take Inti. Inti's a messed up magic card. Works well with Luris. Works well with Dahlia. Um. They're both pa both palace jailer and Inti are very powerful cards. I think I'm going to take Palace Jailer because I'm on tilt. I'm going to take Palace Jailer because I'm on tilt. Uh, there's a Bob. Uh, I like Bob. Bob's good. I can still play Luris in the main deck, by the way. Um, could take Bob and then wheel uh, Manatai, the Recurring Nightmare. We're not really looking like a Recurring Nightmare deck, but... You know... Take Palace, you and blink Tony Khan. That's so fucked. 
rescheduling an event that big. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I got to talk to the AEW people too now. Or, uh, um, could take Unearth. We have some good Unearth targets. Um, I think Unearth, uh, Graveyard Trespasser is the next card that I would take. I'm going to take Unearth. Ooh. There's a Scrubland. There's a Lauren. There's also a Necromancy and a Mind Twist. I think I have to take Scrubland. Just like get my mana going here. Unearth is really good with Lauren, though. But I mean, it's uh, I'm drafting a black white deck right now, and uh, having access to that seems pretty hot. <laughs> I ha here's a black white card. Um, I mean, I think I'm gonna take Urborg. Urborg's pretty good with Luris. Um, also just like tends to be a nice card in these decks where you have a lot of double white cards, but also you're going to want to have some black cards. And if you pick up cheap black utility, you might want to double spell, but you don't want your mana base to really be mostly black. I think this is probably better than taking Ashen Rider or Balance. Uh, I'll take Winds of Abandon. I usually don't like to like put myself into a deck this early, but here we are. Get good cheesecake. Welcome back for the 37th month. Glad to see you had fun in Chicago and surprised to see how many games of Canlander you played. Yeah, me too. That part was surprising. I, uh, I, I did not expect to get that much in, but I'm glad I did. I can take Torok here. Erberg works with Torok. I think I like it better than Season Halloblade. Somebody took Thraben or Novice uh, Jailer. Novice Inspector, that's the one. Um, Liliana works well with Torak. Misery Shadow, pretty strong. Parallax Wave got picked up. Or no, Parallax Wave is next pick. Uh, I think Liliana's probably overrated. I really like Misery Shadow. All right, they picked... I'm going to take the stage because I saw that Dark Depths going around. Um... I don't think I, I'm drafting super well. You'll have to excuse me. Don't expect quality. Uh, you can expect quality entertainment, but maybe not quality gameplay. And st quality strategic decisions. Oh, a recurring nightmare. We could end up being a recurring nightmare deck. Recurring nightmare is a great pickup. Quality gameplay is reserved for the Shandy streams. Trespasser wield two. All right, we we've got some cards coming together. Uh, the Savai Triumph was already here. I'll take this. Out. Although, I mean, I don't think I'm splashing for the the what's its nuts the blood. Tithe Harvester, but um, Fourth Aerolingus is something that we could splash for if we need to. If we pick it up. We could Companion Luris, but if I Companion Luris, then I have to cut these cards. I mean, I don't know if I'm playing the Nightmare. <clears throat> I think I was supposed to take uh, Parallax Wave. Also, somebody else is in this uh, this deck. Somebody very close to us. But now it's my turn to cut them. Have I explained why I hate this card so much? Let me figure out what I'm picking here. Um, I might just be Porcelain Legionnaire, which is not exciting, but I don't think I want to take a Braid here. Nothing super splashable. Nothing to help set us up a splash. Could take Restless Fence, but I'll take this Legionnaire. I don't like the scale word that much. Okay, so the reason why I hate this card so much is because I think it's incredibly safe, does way too much, and is like emblematic of all the things that make certain modern magic cards, particularly modern mid-range cards, uh, really boring. Uh, there's not a huge commitment to casting it. It's a single pip card. 3-3 uh, three, three for 3, totally reasonable rate. It has Ward discard a card, which is brutal because early on, that's still just like an odd. It's, it's a card that very like clumsily, if you need to target it with removal, 
uh, the most common way of getting a creature off the board, you are like literally two for one in yourself. Like you are forcibly two for one in yourself, which is in hindsight kind of funny. I'm going to take this prismatic vista and carry on with this rant. Um, there's also a bat I'd be interested in wheeling. Uh, very funny, also very strong. Um, very bad in a top, or very powerful in a top deck war and very frustrating in a top deck war of like, you know, a thing that happens where, where you're both just drawing off the top of your deck, looking for something. They draw the trespasser and then you draw a removal spell and you can't do anything to deal with it. Not only that, if you, you just aren't able to do anything and so it transforms. So even if you do draw a removal spell, you might have drawn a removal spell that just doesn't do anything because this card's now a 4-4 because you couldn't cast a spell that turn. Um, and <laughs> that is okay to have. There, It is okay for cards to be powerful when you are top decking. Uh, it's just the cost of inclusion on this card is so fucking low because it's a three drop with a single pip makes it really wild. It's a card that you can easily include four of in your deck and it being able to do that, obviously annoying. Uh, main, main deck graveyard hate on ETB and attacking uh, while draining, it's pretty annoying. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm not saying leave people's graveyards alone, but the fact that it's packaged onto a card that is so easy to cast and so like reasonable to play. Um, also, this pack is stacked for us. There's like Adeline, Fatal Push, Wasteland. Uh, I think I want Dismember though. I think I like Dismember more than Push. Dismember just kills everything. Well, mostly everything. Um, and then, and Sculler. So we could wheel Adeline, Sculler, Push, Wasteland, whatever. Uh, what up, Lelio? Baleful Mastery. Foothills doesn't do what we want. I'll take Lion Sash. I'm not, I'm not even done. Uh, it has Daybound, Nightbound, which is just extremely annoying. Terrible mechanic. Terrible to track. That sucks, right? That sucks. Um, so that just makes the player experience with this card to be not great. Um, the whole package of this just ends up being a card that is easy to play, easy to justify its inclusion, uh, big enough that it isn't the most straightforward thing to trade with on the board or with other creatures because, I mean, a 3-3, three, three, not huge, but also not like easily picked off chump to trade it away frivolously. Oh fuck, I'm going to have to go Mardu. <laughs> or we could take the Gruff Triplets and Recurring Night. But I don't have a way of getting it in the graveyard. I'm going to take this one. Could maybe have taken that Talisman. Could throw something in the Boardwall hole. Don't think I'm playing this Recurring Night. Uh, I like Portable Hole. I think I like it better than Underdog. I don't think I like any of these cards. I mean, I might not end up playing white. I could play Scrapyard Mutt. I do like that the first thing that you have said is nice hole. That's pretty great. Yeah, I, uh, I... It's the whole package of this card that just makes it frustrating to play against. Kind of like uh, across a variety uh, of uh, um, circumstances and matchups and like really just shines a light on the... Yeah, I'll take the mutt. Shines a light on some of the issues with modern, more modern mid rangey kind of card design. What the fuck is going on here? Am I taking this Nettle Cyst? We have some artifacts and enchantments. I'm not playing anything else. This draft, I might actually just not even do this draft. I could play this. I mean, I'll play some games. Who am I kidding? 
Take the Sir Ginger to go with the Nettle Cyst. I think I like it better than Mentor and Rankle. Try to make something out of this deck. Try to try to fit a theme into this deck because we got the Sculler. Okay, okay. Get get the Batter Skull for the the Stone Forger about to pick. Relic Genesis, It's a cheap artifact. Uh, yeah, it's just a combination of a whole bunch of bullshit that I am not a huge fan of. That makes it awkward to deal with early, awkward to deal with it late. Uh, really shines a light on some of the bullshit that uh, has kind of homogenized magic. And uh, yeah. I, I don't think that this card is like busted. I mean, it is, but not in the like best card ever. If you're not playing this, you're a big dumb dumb kind of thing. It is, uh, I think that it is just like so much rate packed into one card while shining the light on a lot of the issues with certain magic design. Is Inti also an example? I think Inti's pretty close to that too. Yeah. Um, what do we take? I think Staff the Storyteller is likely to wheel if, I mean, Nettle Cyst came around that late. I could take Wedding Announcement. Do I like it over Bone Shards? We have Removal. And I'll take this Wedding Announcement. I could take Arid Mesa because that finds Scrubland. I think I like that over Prismatic Ending. Also, if we end up splashing red for some reason, play it. Ooh, Elite Spellbinder. This is a good magic card. I think I like it better than Jadar. Jadar is also more likely to wheel. This deck would love a Skull Clamp or One Drops or a Moxon. We're not going to get that last one, but... Could Schism. I think I like Schism better than Selfless Spirit. I don't even know if I'm playing this Mutt. Ooh, Luminarch Aspirin. And then trying to wield this Intrepid Adversary. Yeah, this deck looks like it could actually do something. It's not sexy. We still need some other cards. I would love to get like a Stoneforge Mystic. <clears throat> Inti is just insane rate. Um, way, just insane rate. Super pushed. But at least Inti has some added, there's the added benefit of Inti, and, and this is one of Inti's issues as well, like that pushes it into the category of like, this card does too much or too little um, and provides like safety against a, a type of strategy or a type of card uh, is that Inti does have more of a build around feature, which is kind of cool. Inti, there it is. There it is. Oh, and if we can wheel this Lingering Souls, that would be so sick. Inti has a... Um, yeah, Inti has a, uh, a nice, like, well, I'm playing a deck with a bunch of discard cards, so I can take advantage of Inti's ability. Uh, there's also a hero blade. All right. I'll take this bitter blossom. You can tell I'm on tilt because I'm taking bitter blossom. Like, there are some cool things you can do with Inti, you know? I'd sort of like lower powered sets for a bit. Standard being three years probably makes that impossible, though. I think Standard's in a really good spot. And like, yeah, they have been putting out like lower powered stuff or like the where the points of power are put. Uh, is in interesting spots. I like, case in point, how popular is Inti and Standard right now? <sighs> I'm not going to take the Zurin or probably not. I'm not going to play this Virtue. 
How popular is, uh... Reasonably popular? I'm going to take it. Karn is actually kind of a sick top end for this deck. Um, I think I like it better than Batter Skull, for sure. I don't actually know how good this Lurus is. The Boros deck doesn't play Inti. Jadar? Jadar is kind of hot. Valky. Um, this Unearth kind of got worse. We can maybe just run 16 land because we're pretty low to the ground. Um, is Inti in the picnic deck? Inti's not in mono red. Uh, I'm going to look at all the gruel decks from the last league. None of the gruel aggro is playing. None of these 5 0 lists. All five of these 5 0 lists have zero copies of Inti. He doesn't see play in Mono Red. He, he probably, may, he might see play in Rakdos, right? Surely he sees Rakdos play. Uh, yeah, he sees play in the Rakdos deck. But you get what I mean. You have a, you have the best decks, some of the best decks of the format, right? Mono Red, all oh, the Lingering Souls wield. Let's fucking go. Okay, we've we've got a deck here. We got we got something to something to cook with. Mm. I mean, we could cut. Like we're doing, we got some token stuff here. Maybe Sir Ginger is just like not worth it. It's a little narrow. We don't have like any one drops. Or I could play Sir Ginger and play 16. I think maybe I have to get a little greedy. Just play more twos than the threes here. This is actually that. This is actually that. Okay, we got like a black white tokens list. Sure. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Inti is a mid-range card. I mean, Inti, well, that's the thing, is that Inti, Inti is a mid-range card. Inti is also an engine card. Uh, Inti is also just like a totally reasonable aggressive card, right? It is a two-drop that cashes in cards for additional pressure, uh, a way of pushing through damage temporarily while also having a like hey you did this thing great well you can use these cards but only immediately right or in you know until your end step or whatever <clears throat> no lurse in the main eh, it's expensive also my lurse my, we don't actually have the best lurus deck uh i'll keep this yeah, the, the conversation around Inti changes when you get to every other format, but. This deck would have loved a Mox. I know that's like, yeah, no shit, Ben. But you know. You got nothing on two? Sick. Here's a Thalia.
But like MKM was like powered down. And I think standards really, oh, what are you gonna do with this? I think standards really good. This is scary. This means that you have like a Lotus in your deck or something. Uh, very funny timing on this. I kind of want to see what's up. What's happening? What's up? Oh. That's what's up. So why are you playing this card? Uh, I could take Flame Slash. I could take Remand. Just make Remand, like, unplayable. Uh, the other cards are... I could also take a more expensive card. If they draw land, they Flame Slash my Thalia. Keep up Remand. And they can Wandering Emperor. Kind of want to take this Wandering Emperor. I could also take here to Fairy. Um... I could take Flame Slash. It's the same thing. Just Flame Slash if they draw a land. Oh, I can make Flame Slash like stone unplayable. Four mana. I'm going to take this Flame Slash. Reminder don't listen to anything that I'm saying in regards to the gameplay. Just listen. Listen. <laughs> I was going to say just listen to my soothing voice, and then I did a impression of a uh, gold member. Swagabra. Swagabra. Oh, speaking of Swagabra, I have to reply to a text. An email, if you will. Uh-huh. Congratulations, you have resolved a flame slash. Here is a porcelain legionnaire. Here is a bob. End of Evangelion is re-releasing in theaters. I feel like I want to watch End of Evangelion right now. I wish that I could turn back time. When is it coming to theaters? I'd watch, I would watch the shit out of that in theaters. Oh, right. Relic Warder can hit the Legionnaire. That's fine. The news is pretty new. Are they doing any screenings? March 17th and 20th. Check my local theater website. Oh, 17th ish? Hell yeah. Uh, no, hold on. We're not filming, we're recording. Did I end up doing the banana bread? No, I had to do too much stuff for the prep for Chicago and it kind of mucked me. So I did not make banana bread. I failed everyone, but mostly I failed myself. But mostly, mostly, I failed Adam. But even more than that, I failed myself. Um. Well. Yes, there is an Ava and Vangelion Photoshop of my face. There are several. I don't know. I could look at, we could look at the old Photoshop folder. What 
what do we got here? We got Ashiok. We got Assassin's Trophy. This is when I had the top knot. Never doing that again. Bomber Mench. Bitter Blossom. <laughs> There's, there's got to be a better time to do this than while I am in match. Benji Blossom. You made and... You made and banana brought banana muffins. Wait, did you make banana muffin? Did you have banana muffins in Chicago? The cook the the pomegranate cookies angel were incredible. Damn, they were good. Um, I feel like I'm I lose so much life to kill this relic order. I kind of need to save removal for the um other one. I ate I ate a muffin? Wait, hold on. When? No, 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 no. Oh, I did! I did <sighs> Okay. I would formally like to apologize. <laughs> I would formerly like to apologize. I've never, I've never had muffins in my life. On God. Uh, they have a remand, which is going to make this winds of abandon real bad. Got to put out a notes apology, notes half apology. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. I can explain. I can explain. Uh. <laughs> this motherfucker does not know the muffin man. This is so messed up. Um, I think I attack with the trespasser here. Trespasser actually means nothing can attack. I think I hold up this member. I could either hold up Dismember or I could just play this Misery Shadow. I'm going to play the Shadow. I'm waiting for this explanation. Um, uh, I, I for, uh, <coughs> I mean, I, uh, <coughs> I mean, what I'm trying to say was, uh, I had such a wonderful time this weekend that I, the Muffet, while starting, you know, kicking things off, um, it may have gotten swept up in all the other uh, wonderful things that had that take took place in Chicago, you know. And the cookie was so good. The cookie was so good that the muffin did receive some disrespect from me, intentional or not. It was not intentional. No, come on. You can't cancel me. I ate the muffin. Come on. This is what I get canceled over? Muffin-induced brain fog. Memory bad? No, that's not fair. I forgot that I had eaten a muffin very early on into what is effectively 40 hours of work over three days. You'll have to excuse me. Eggs, eggs, e Just one more thing. <laughs> <coughs> How come we don't have a Columbo alert? Lesbian punk pyromancer, welcome back for the 27th month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. We need to get Crawl Lumbo on the case. Uh, 
I'm sorry that I forgot about the muffin. Does it have to be in the notes app? <laughs> it can't, it can be on a sticky note. It, I did put it on the notes app. <laughs> this remand, I mean, now they have the wandering emperor. Um, which I still think is fine. This way, they're going to play out their card. The Wandering Emperor. Oh yeah, you can make these blocks. Or we can do that. That's that's fine by me. Um, I think I'm going to die. Maybe I should play Batterskull. Like, I think I'm just going to die to my Bob and my Bitter Blossom. Holy shit, Thomas. Slide back in the saddle, bud. How's it going? <laughs> Celestial Columbanade. You're sick? Thomas, you've been... S I feel bad for you, but also, have you... <laughs> you've been, like, sick... Why do you, What's going on, bud? You're getting, you're getting sick uh, <laughs> an awful lot. <clears throat> In the last 12 months, I have caught the flu like five times. Unreal. That's a bad run, dude. Uh, I need to... I think I could maybe catch them on the remand here because they got to play their Wandering Emperor. Oh, well, I can catch them on the remand here then. Please don't hell rider me. Oh. <clears throat> well, this is kind of awkward. Well, it's not that bad. There's not going to be... Um, they can get the graveyard trespasser. That's it. Being sick for half a year. Yeah, it's brutal. Why is this deck playing Tomashi? There's there's gotta be like a there's gotta be like a black lotus in here or something. This is a very interesting attack. I don't know if I entirely understand. Unless they're going to burn me out before blocks. That's good. Because <clears throat> now <clears throat> we can still winds of abandon. And 
and we get to kill the emperor. Oh. We can winds of abandon. Porcelain legionnaire takes care of the emperor. We get to smack them. Now they do get to cast this, which is kind of annoying. But I feel like I have enough removal that I can like tempo them out. <clears throat> is this Winds of Abandon Art not available on paper? Who did the Winds of Abandon Art? The fact that you're saying this, Atris of Mist, leads me to believe that it may be a bigot. Or, but I thought it was, was it Nils? I thought it was Nils. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it is. Well, not a bigot, <laughs> but... <coughs> <coughs> But, you know. Uh, worse, in fact. Oh, what the fuck is this? Fury? You preordained into fury? Holy shit. Man encounters MH2 for first time. Well, they still have the reman, don't they? I mean, remanding a title scholar is kind of funny. You, hey, hey, Wheeler. I was at the con. Shame we never met, but I had a good time. I did face Jim from Spike Fear. Well, as one of the original spike feeders, at least you fought one of us. That's the important part. But also, I would recommend you uh, test yourself uh, for uh, COVID. Cast the virtue. <clears throat> yeah, so far I've tested negative and I have no symptoms, uh, but I still will be testing negative. Or sorry, I will still be testing in the next couple of days. Oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why didn't you attack? Oh, and they get to bring back their Carnosaur. Wow, this game is just not going well for us. That Fury, actually, just like top decking the Fury, uh, really was not good. Would it be pro or anti foil for Arena, the magic card? Uh, I think it would be pretty mid. I don't think it would be that big of a deal if foil were on, put on Arena. That card has a heavy cost associated with it. <clears throat> yeah, the dog dragon one was Kibler. They kind of sorted into Black Lotus. Okay, so good to have confirmation. We're getting Solitude on Arena? Wait, hold on. Did I miss something?
Very cool. How do I win this game? <clears throat> what do I need to do to win this game? Get my opponent's life to zero. That's a good plan, James. Thank you. This is why I go to you for all of my magic advice. Okie dokie. Let's get a skull clamp. Lion sash. Not actually that bad. This might... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This has to block that. The one, two. Oh, if I got white mana, we would have been able to trade with this. I forgot about the bitter blossom damage. <clears throat> that blocks that. Blocks that. Oh, you know what I could do? If I put two onto this. And then exile one, two, three, four. That's five. So that can block that. That can chump block. Okay. I think I have a I think I think we can do this. I think we can win the game. That is true. <laughs> okay. Not to give James too much credit, but he did show up, give us what is technically advice. And we drew a card that might actually let us win the game. Now, I wanted to go on record that I don't believe myself to be particular. I don't believe myself to be particularly mean or rude to James. However, when you compare it to the other things that people say, I do not blame James for much. Um, I do, however, continuously steal his credit card number. Which in itself is a crime, I, I guess, if that's your definition. <laughs> Thank you for specifying. Well, fifth one's... Yeah, you're on the fifth one. You know, there's always room for more. I'm gonna eat that. I need them to brick on this draw. Said I need you to brick on this draw. No, that's too much mana. Oh, why did I attack? I mean, I attacked because... Uh, fuck. Uh, did I need to attack? I don't think I needed to attack. I probably shouldn't have attacked. This is a hell of a draw. My opponent's deck looks pretty alright. I think this portable hole is coming out. Well, my thought was uh, with the attack is that I would need it to actually kill them with the Lion Sash. Um, and I think that still stands. I need it to kill them with the Lion Sash. If I lose my fairies. I need it to kill them with the Lion Sash. Um, or else it's just not enough damage. But that said, it's probably better to just hold it back. I did not get my opponent's life. No, my opponent drew a dragon, which was pretty bad. No, it's one off if I... Uh, yeah, it's one off.
Because they're at nine. Oh, I guess four. Oop. I'd have to, I have to watch the tapes, as the kids say. Uh, I think I'm just running this back. I mean, I, I'm adding this batter skull because I'm a little worried about how much damage I was dealing. Portable hole I'm cutting. It has some targets, but I'm not super excited about the targets. Uh, yeah, let's keep it. Best way to prevent your opponent from drawing a dragon, take away their colored pencils. Honka, honka. You're back, Mink. How is the tree? We can continue the wheeler. Uh, oh, no, I have priority. I was going to say. Saddest clown horn. Well, I did just lose a game. And, uh... <coughs> had a real bomb dropped on me earlier today. Mm -hmm. Steak and potatoes, lucky. Anyway, here's bitter blossom. And then there's body double. This one's terrifying. Uh, there's bolus of citadel. Raisin Borrower. Surge is in the back here. Cabal Therapist. This one is disgusting. Uh, Charging Monstrosaur. Consecrated Sphinx. Also terrifying. Crested Sun Mare. This one's great. <laughs> I mean, this one's great. How Doomsday go? I didn't end up playing Doomsday. Yeah, that's its face. Abusing magic. Yeah. How dare you. No. Okay, welcome back for the third month. How are you doing? Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, you too. Oh, I forgot to mention a big part of my weekend was uh, on the... I, was it on Friday or Thursday? I don't even remember what day it was. It must have been Thursday. It was Thursday. I bet against the Sacramento Kings. I, should, I rolled up to the bar and they, Krim and EK is there and a couple of other people there. Was it like, did I walk in on like a, a secret like lobby con or something? Long story short, Krim's watching the Sacramento Kings play. Get that fury out of here. They had, I was hoping they wouldn't have the fury. They had the fury. Fury is pretty good against us. Oh shit, I fucked up. I should have gotten the Carnosaur. I clicked on the fury. If I lose this, I'm running it back. I, I'm I'm just I'm drop I I I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt, baby. We should have played Shondalar, baby. We should have played Shondalar. This should have been a Shondalar day. I shouldn't have been playing Constructed Magic. Yeah, there was a group of people. Oh, yeah, Ben was there. Yeah, we, Ben and I met Krim there. And because we were going to give him the burger. That's what it was. Um, I should have played Shondalar. This was a huge mistake. King's, King's game is going and it's close. And if you don't know anything about basketball, the Sacramento Kings are pretty bad. And they've always kind of been bad. Krim is the only Sacramento, is probably uh, one, of, one of the very few Sacramento Kings fans in the world. That's, you know, all, all things considered. Um, and uh, they were against the Spurs. And I'm not a San Antonio fan by any means. I'm not a Spurs fan. Uh, I haven't even been paying attention to basketball recently, but I know a mark when I see one. And so I was like, yeah, I'll bet some money on this against Krim. Really straightforward. <laughs> oh, thank you.
Uh, my opponent just said, big fan just turned off stream. Anyways, uh, it was an embarrassing match of magic or match of uh, basketball. Embarrassing game of basketball to watch. No, I lost $20. It was an embarrassing game to watch, no matter who you were rooting for. Um, I think I want to get down the preacher. Spurs were up five with two minutes left. No, yeah, yeah. It was like two, two and a half minutes left. And they just boofed it. It was not good. It was embarrassing. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Your partner's a Kings fan? They've been getting better. Oh, Sylvan Safekeeper. The combination of Preacher of the Schism plus Bitter Blossom is kind of hot. However, the fact that my opponent already has Shadow Spear with the Urza Saga is a little worrying. Yeah, I hear you, Bubba. Mm. I don't have... I mean, I have Portable Hole as a hit, which is kind of upsetting if we don't draw... If we draw Portable Hole, it makes us turn a little more awkward. I'm going to Clam. I have stuff to do, but I, I might need to get a little more juice in the tank. The answer is no. We don't need more juice. We just need this nettle cyst. Mm -hmm. No. I'm being very loud. Yeah. Big whiny baby. You wouldn't bo boof a basketball? I don't think you should boof a basketball. The Zurin Orb? Oh, no. Hey, we might be in trouble. Once again, Winds of Abandon might come in clutch. Um, I will trade off... <laughs> I will trade off... Why are you so loud? Cat is thirsty. No, I turned it on. It's on. It's just quiet. Oh, because we're still on Shondalar volume. I believe we are. We were still on Shondalar volume as well. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. I could spend some life on this to get my preacher going again, but I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, it's very chill music too. Um. Yeah, I'm the one that can chump block pretty well, so I'm just gonna start. Oh, I just played this card right. Um, what do I get if I attack with this? I get damage. Yes, I responded to that comment. Thank you. Uh, to everyone that, uh, I guess, let me know. <laughs> James, did you... Uh, is James even here? He could have left. He probably has more important stuff to do. He probably has more important stuff to do. I had a very nice time in uh, Chicago, Plachow. And I got to tell you, I'm glad that I didn't bring uh, Ruin Your Evening. It was going to be my deck of choice, uh, but I decided against it because I couldn't decide which build I wanted to do. 
I'm just gonna hit you with this. They might have some big idiots in their hand, but. Yeah, I. I at least. Uh, I mean, eggs isn't the fastest deck in the world, but it is something that I can at least demonstrate to people like, look, this is about to happen. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> They're secretly at uh, a million life because winds of abandoned into the Zern orb is a little Doritos bold, but that's fine. And this is kind of annoying. Shadow Spear with Niss is kind of annoying. We should be able to kill Nissa though. At the very least. I didn't take any Malort home with me. I think Ben took Malort home with him. Like, I think some Malort may... Oh, maybe some Malort made it back to Victoria. I don't know. Glad I endurance or glad I uh, I okayed. Oh, and that Nissa. Oh my god, I'm fucked. Well, I have this elite spellbinder. I guess. Um. I mean, this is kind of the abyss. Okay. We can get that Nissa out of their hand. So that they're at least not going to overrun us. Uh... And then this card is pretty good. The Malort is spreading. I liked Malort. I enjoyed drinking Malort. Blue white. I got blue red on the mind. The blue the blue white list, I think it would be kind of exciting. There's some stuff you can do with blue white that's pretty cool. There's a blue white version I want to try. I had it very early on, a blue white version of it where you played um uh what's its nuts? Um <laughs> Bomberman just cuz the points were so like whatever. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to portable hole the shadow spear because that's the... To me, that's scarier than the Zern orb. Red I like as well. You get so, there's some cool stuff you can get with red. I haven't tried Culver's yet. Unfortunately, did not get to try Culver's. Yeah. Aomer, Imperial Recruiter, Fourth Aerolingus. Uh, this makes lifelinkers, right? No, this just makes one ones. Uh, I'm not gonna attack with everything. I'm just gonna I'll make bodies on the bodies on the board. Chicago is great, though. Big fan of the city.
Carson, did you end up getting a crab queen? Do you have a line on a crab queen? Also, thank you to the anonymous gifter that gifted a sub to James. That's very kind of you. Oh. Oh, you got the... Okay, Weasel's got you. Great. I, too, have a crab queen. Time walk? Oh, no, we're all right. I was gonna say, why'd you why'd you double blue? I'm try I tried to think of the worst possible thing that they could have. Uro's annoying, but Uro's not the end of the world here. Shoutouts to the weasels. All of them. Uh did I get an impressive rat? No, I I got I picked up the wrong box. Ha ha ha. I don't even know what that was. Ha ha ha. DM me at some point. I've had a gift for you I've been meaning to get in your hand since like 2021. Yes. We can we can figure that out. Ooh, that's a good draw. Um you're at four. This really pushes you to do that. I am going to dismember your endurance. And then we have 15 in the air. So they would lose all of their lands. And I have sufficient blockers. Mule more, if you figured I'd mule more Pokemon cards at some point and slip in the Kiki Jiki. Right, the Kiki Jiki. Wheeler, I'm pretty sure I missed the announcement, but will you be announcing commentator for the Highlander tournament this weekend? It is March 2nd. The commentators are myself and Trenton McIntyre. Trenton of uh, previous, uh, last year's commentary, as well as the Chris Sutherland charity tournament commentary. Um, and uh, with Ben, Ben Ulmer will also be doing a little bit of commentary with us. Yeah, very excited. Also, that means I need to herd some cats. And by that, I mean, I've got to get some Canlander players to send me their deck lists earlier, if possible. No Graham? Well, here's the thing. Um, as embarrassing as it is, I did not qualify. I did not play uh, enough, and uh, unfortunately, I only won, I played five events, six events last year, and I only won one of them. And I'm not salty about making the finals like three other times. Yeah, I'm legally washed up now. Um. Uh, but that's okay because it makes my role as like organizer um, a lot better. Did I just shower because I'm washed? I'm glad that we all agree that I'm washed. At least, first off, a washed magic player. Nice. Secondly, um, it uh, at least if I'm washed, it means that, you know, I was able to achieve some kind of result in the past. IOK is kind of nice. I don't have a good hole target. I mean, the hole is probably going to hit something. We didn't hit a land drop. I'm going to Bob here. Bob will help us hit lands. This Trespasser might be pretty good here. Much better things to do on a Monday night Highlander. That much better things to do than Monday Night Highlander most nights. Honestly, it's because it's a Monday, Nico. Uh, which will never change. But Monday is the like... That's my uh, don't do shit day. Or try not to do shit. Where's it being streamed? Live uh, from Loading Ready Run. 
twitch.tv slash loading ready run starting at 10 a.m pacific standard time okay we hit the lands uh i could hold our zurin orb but i think i would rather not so what's our game plan make a construct or i could hold a shadow spear that's probably better they're on construct construct something I could get wedding announcement going. Mm, it's not exciting. It's not sexy, but I'll get the wedding announcement going. Wedding announcement also just gives me some chump blockers. Um, do I want to trade Bob for a Karnstruct? Yeah. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I keep the shit under wraps. I'll do it. Fucking A. We drew a card. We drew a card. We drew a card and traded with a portion of an Urza Saga? Busted. Also, we hit our double lands, so like we we have stuff that we can do for the next couple of turns. Do I think Garfield plays Highlander? Well, here that's interesting. Oh. Uh -huh. Boo. <laughs> Boo. We hate it. The whole crowd hates it. Oh, fuck. Well, we might be able to actually keep this under wraps. It's going to not be nice. But... We can at least make a board with pressure. Plenty of pressure here. I can deal with a big boo as well. They are going to gain eight, potentially eight life, which is a lot of life. They don't want a shadow spear, so they have a play. Uh, Corsair of Crufix. Can I get through that? I think I can get through that. They blocked that. I can, but I'm losing some stuff. Oh, cat car. Can I get through cat car? I can kind of get through cat car. Okay. Um. <coughs> they block those two. It's Kaboo goes to one. Um. What do you got? What you got? Got your ram and nap. Oh, Black Betty. Ram and nap. I think I have to hold the boo so I don't die. I could hold a cat and then they crew the car. Then I have to attack with everything except for Jadar. And they block the Legionnaire. Because how am I beating this, even if I untap? It's just so big. I can beat a 4-4 four, four boo. But a 3-3 three, three boo is not doing it. Uh, am I dead? I'm... Oh, I'm dead. Wait a minute, I'm fucking dead. I'm dead, but I... May, they might not see the line. So I think I actually, do I have to send with everything? Cause I block block and boo takes three. Eggs, and then eggs, eat that, e four, cruise that. Add that to block. Cool card, cool card. Commander Legends, Baldur's Gate. Uh, one of the most fun limited environments. One of the most destructive magic sets of all time. Yeah. We get to at least trade. Oh, okay. So yeah, they in order to keep this alive, they at least have to trade their cats off. Um, and we do this. 
The ramen app. Okay, we are in trouble, but we're not we're not dead dead. It's not good. That's not nothing. Mostly because it's going to let our Legionnaire get big enough. They can play this Nissa though. Which is costly, but annoying. Or costly and annoying because it lets them cat car. Or it lets them blow up the, the wedding. Yep. Which means they can attack with that. That is an interesting draw. Can I send enough at Minskin Boo and enough at Nissa? Can I do so without losing too many reasonable cards? Luminarch Aspirant. Two mana for the Aspirant. Counter on token both of them attack Minsk and Boo and then I le I can't let them Nissa right My power and toughness is spread out in a very awkward way. I could put a counter on the Porcelain Legionnaire, and then we can go Legionnaire plus two tokens at Minsk and Boo, and then Zombie Token Trespasser at Nyssa, and then they eat the Trespasser. Is that different? Is that better? I think that's what I want to do. Because then that also leaves my Legionnaire in a spot where it checks Cat, Car, and Boo. I lose my Trespasser, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so you attack that. You attack that. You attack that. We're attacking Minskinbu. Minskinbu is dead. This attacks Nessa, and this attacks Nessa. This is going to eat the Bob because I think I do. I want the life. Four life. If I go up to nine, it means that I can. Um. I think I, I think I need to do this because then it makes it easier for me to take hits. Especially with the Shadow Spear. Like, I'll take the extra life. Accruing the cat car. Trying to play around something. Although, if I had removal, accruing the cat car is a little risky. My trespasser is dead. You played against the initiative in the collector's chaos sealed? See, that just sounds miserable. I think that's actually classified as a war crime, last I heard. Uh, let me get this Minskaboo out of here right now. And then pass. The, oh, I didn't even talk about the, the Gavin's event. In the Gavin's event, it's funny because they basically just tricked everybody into playing Brawl. Um, like, sealed Brawl. And my commander was Queen Marchesa. So, you know, I had my queen. And uh, my queen really just ran house. It was not fair. Um, I can't block this in a way that matters. And I go to four, so I'm going to take it here. Go 
Ooh. Sentinel's pretty good. I make sure to let my friends know to thank Benny Wheels whenever they have to play versus my Dungeon Commander deck with all the blue-eyed initiative cards. I signed so many Hama Pushars over the weekend. It was great. It was genuinely really cool. Uh, I'm going to Lingering Souls and then save all my mana for um, the Lion Sash. It's, yeah, Hama Pashar Turbo Annihilation rules. Big fan of that deck. Oh, Arboreal Grazer. Little guy. I've been playing a lot of Timeless. For reasons that I can't talk about yet. Winks at camera. Um, but I'd be into playing some timeless on stream if people wanted to watch, because I've been playing primarily the, uh, uh, prime time deck. It's my deck of choice. I've been liking it. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, the show and tell match. I I'm saying that as somebody who has a good matchup against show and tell. So it, it's, it might be not <laughs> great act like as a whole. But I'm, I've been enjoying it, and I've been playing it best of three, which makes it a lot more fun. Um, okay, I want to start attacking. So I think I'll start doing that. I have five minutes left on my clock. Holy shit. I didn't even realize. I'm up a game, right? Um. Shit. And they have a Zern Orb. This might be tough. I gotta, I gotta stop what I was doing. Start focusing. I mean, I think we'll be fine. Oh, I should have divided it up among the other spirits. That's on me. I don't want to time out. And I'm going to apologies. I'm going to apologies. Uh, oh, I should have unequipped this, but that's fine. I got to get through this Zurin orb. Oh, I got... I'm dead. Well, actually, none of them have trample. And they don't have the mana to cast Titania. We can at least get them to use. They gain a bunch of life, though. Titania. I could have maybe held this Tidal Sculler. I played it because I'm like, well, they're going to be able to play anything that they get. Perfect. Um, I'm not actually casting this card. Am I attacking? Oh yeah, you 
got a cat car still. You've got you've got a cat car. First strike. Ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fit shit. I genuinely think we might be able to still win this game. Um, but it is going to be tough. I don't think they have lethal here. Maybe I should have bitter blossomed. I actually didn't check if I needed to bitter blossom. I do. Three, seven, eight, sixteen, twenty, twelve plus three, fifteen. Oh no, we're still we're still good. We're done. Right. Did I miscount? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I think I miscounted. Why did I not count the additional two? Would Bitter Blossom have actually mattered? I saw the timer going down and I uh, panicked. It should have been a Shondalar stream. Yeah, we're dead. I don't have time for a game three. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I genuinely thought that it was worth uh, going for though. I didn't realize how slow I was playing. Maybe we can do it. Oh, that blocks. That blocks so well. <laughs> Misery's shadow is also... No, now it blocks super well. What the fuck? I can't get through this. Land. All right. If we go land palace jailer, then maybe. But if they mince boo here, oh yeah, it's over. All right, all right. It's so. All right. Now, no, it's GG. <laughs> yes. Turn three mince boo. What are you gonna do? Um. All right. I want to get one good. I want to get one good cube in here. My brain's fried. I'm stressed. I'm I'm freaking out. I've got a lot of shit to do now that I didn't think I'd have to do. And now here we are. But, you know, 
That's okay. You know why? Because there's always monetization. Thank God for the ad revenue. Because fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. We're not making ourselves look great. Also, <laughs> also like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Thought cheese is a good one. GG's Pooja's gods, your deck looks sick. I miscounted. I miscounted how many lands you had. I'm taking thought cheese. It's the only black card here, but it's the most powerful card in the pack. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. It was in it was in the ending trailer, but it was mentioned uh, again that the next shuffle up in play is Canadian Highlander, featuring myself, Serge, and Pascal Maynard. Um, <clears throat> I could take Currency Converter here. Currency Converter thoughts these decks are great. I could take Dark Ritual. I do like Dark Ritual a lot. It's a pretty broken magic card. Dark Ritual also goes in Thoughtseize decks too. Mm, I really like Currency Converter. I feel I feel like uh No, I'm not doubtful, but now I we talked about being washed up. I'm gonna take this converter. We talked about being washed up and uh Nothing like O2 in your first two drafts to feel extra washed up. And then typing in chat. <laughs> Did you know I got 20 trophies last season? And they're like, okay, very good, Grandpa. Mm. Prismatic Vista or Lorian Revealed? Lorian Revealed is really good uh, with Currency Converter. And also just like a really strong magic card. It's a blue X duel. I'm not currently in blue. Um, there's also a lightning bolt, but <clears throat> Prismatic Vista is just so good. I'm always playing Prismatic Vista. No matter what my deck is, I'm playing Prismatic Vista. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to take Duress here. Um, Duress is always good. If I'm playing Thoughtseize, I'm playing Duress. Duress is incredibly powerful. It's cheap. It's efficient. There's an Atali here. We kind of have the makings of a reanimator deck. But, you know. Mm-hmm. Like a lass. And his twink reflexes. I'm going to take this to rest. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. There's Oliphant. I'm going to take this him. We're at the same table. <laughs> what up, Tex? Don't hate draft me. Come on. <clears throat> no, that's not a that's not a Tex maneuver. I have no fear. If you if you owe two two vintage cube drafts in a row, you can miss your first pro tour since 2016 or something. Um, 
This pack's not super exciting. There's a watery gray, there's an inti. I like black red. There's kitten. I'm gonna take inti. Mmm. Mm hmm. Karizev is really aggressive. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, inti, inti, and uh, converter work out really well. I just drafted a bitter blossom deck. I could just take black cleave cliffs. I'm actually not super excited to play either of these cards. Karizev, I mean, Karizev's pretty good pressure to go with the hand attack. Um, yeah. I'll take Karizev. Oh, well, I'll take a Badlands. Okay. We got something kind of cooking here. Mmm, Shrapnel Blast for the currency converter. <laughs> Is that probably, that might actually, am I taking the Shrapnel Blast? There's a Spell Seeker. I could take Woodfall Primus. I'm not super excited with this pack. So we don't really have, well, we're not in blue. We don't have a great, like, anything to really pull me into Seeker. I think I'm going to take Primus because we might get some reanimator cards. <clears throat> A1 Saucy, good name. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us. I'll take a braid. Braid's great. <clears throat> it's for insurance when you open Ancestor Recall. I'm not going to open Ancestor Recall. I'm going to open Black Lotus. That's our problem. We haven't opened Black Lotus yet. We have yet to open Black Lotus. Ooh. Um, Epicure? Technically, it's Reanimator. So is Rankle. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll take Rankle. I kind of want to play with Rankle anyways. Excuse me. 20 trophies, 19 with Lotus, one with a 43 card deck. We peaked. Now, hold on. I didn't open that many lotuses. I did open a lot more lotuses than usual. Is it BM to keep the stream open? Nah, that's fine. As long as you, uh, that's a really late watery grip. As long as you, a gentleman's agreement to not muck me. Oh yeah, that's a good card to pick. Uh, I'm gonna take the Bowmasters. Uh, the other good cards, I mean, there's nothing really comparable. Mox Diamond's really good. But I'm going to take the Bowmasters for sure. Uh, and then hopefully we can wheel. I don't think we're going to wheel this uh, or this or this. We could even be this actually. But actually, if I wheel, if I wheel the Recurring Nightmare, that would be great. But I'm going to take the Bowmasters. <clears throat> Ooh. All right. Uh, Copter. Carnosaur. I kind of want to take... Copter. Take Copter, Wheel, Carnosaur, Night's Whisper, Schism. That's kind of hot. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Ooh. It's an Entomb. I haven't seen a huge amount of reanimation cards yet, but Entomb, it's early enough that we just, like, didn't see a lot of the good ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a Speculative Entomb. We have, we have the right cards for it. Darcy's actually kind of good in, in this kind of deck, too. We're pretty low curve, which is nice. I, uh... <laughs> I, have a, I have a confession to make, chat. It turns out that I was playing an illegal deck. I was playing an illegal deck in Chicago take the inferno titan it's a nice it's a it's a really great card for exactly this kind of deck of like well i could reanimate stuff but also i just have like powerful mid-range cards no i was on 99 cards i forgot but uh, to my defense the card that i left at home um if i included it i think it would have upped my win percentage 
And by that, I mean, I would from 31 and one or 31 and one, depending on who you listen to. Monarch Dude, hell yeah. Um, you know, could have changed. No, is my Beseech the Queen? It, or not Beseech the Queen, Beseech the Mirror. It was my Beseech the Mirror. I was on Beseech Eggs and I didn't have Beseech the Mirror. Ooh, okay. So there's a Bomac Courier, but I kind of want to take this Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Because Unearth is Unearth in this pack? I think Unearth is in this pack. I don't think I'm playing Bomat Courier in this anyways. I mean, I could get more aggressive. Yeah, we can get that Unearth and Unearth Dragon Engine, which is kind of haunt. This card's so cool. Yeah, I I need to play more I need to play more Unearth in 2024. I also would like to play more Dragon Engine in 2024. Ooh. I'm gonna take Necromancy. Necromancy's really good. It's also just like Necromancy, Animate Dead, or Reanimate, those are the big ones for us. Uh passing on Snuff Out, I guess Mind Twist. Snuff Out's really good. We have removal. I'll I'll take the Necromancy. <clears throat> Yeah, the other part's not in the queue, the Mishra. Which reminds me, I need to get the copy that Kathleen opened. I think I want Recurring Nightmare. We have so much disruption. We have Duress, Thoughtseize, Him, and Collective Brutality for more. Um... Recurring, we could be a recurring nightmare deck. Yeah, I think we could be a recurring nightmare deck. Oh yeah. Oh, we're a recurring nightmare deck, all right. Oh yeah, we're a recurring nightmare deck. <laughs> this deck looks kind of sick. I do need more creatures. Like the next pack I am going to be picking, uh, trying to pick more creatures, trying to pick more, um, Uh, I'll take this Dark Slick Shores because I have a Watery Grave and if we open Time Walk, I might actually uh, splash for it. Juicy Endeavor. Wow, that's a good name. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. What if I became a vest guy, but not a tech bro? What if I became... Is tech ninja still cool? What about like streetwear? <laughs> this is the perfect card for this deck. So I'm going to reserve that. What about streetwear? <laughs> Gorp core? Good old raisin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Think of it more like, uh, I googled tech ninja and none of it is what I'm not full. No, this is all cheesy. This is cosplay. I don't want cosplay. We're gonna take this fury. Um, I'd play the hell out of Umi's always GT or at least sideboard it. There's a blood crypt and there's a Lelia. We already have a Badlands. There's also an Underground Sea, but I don't think I'm splashing. Uh, I'll take Lilia. Lilia is a pretty good uh, creature in general. Ooh. So there's Flesh George. 
Cholian. There's Ashen Rider. I don't know. We have like recurring nightmare cards right here. Massacre Worm or Girl. Firebolt. I kind of want Firebolt just because it's efficient. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Gold Span might actually be a bit better, though. Bone Shards is also pretty good, but I really need to get enough creatures in this deck to actually do something. Uh, so the question is, is it Gold Span or Grave Titan? I think I want a Gravy Train. Because this is more like that, and this is actually just a free spell. Yeah, all right. We, we got something cooking up here. We got, we're cooking. I'm cooking, I'm mixing. I'm doing things. I'm doing things. I gotta tell you. Oh, never mind. I don't have to tell you shit. Actually, there's better. Well, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So this broadside bombardiers is in, in, incredible. We have CZPZ and Ophiomancer and Jadar, which all really work with recurring nightmare. But I think I just have to take the broadside. Right. This card is just too good. We have Fury. We have. Uh, 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 currency converter, and like we're likely going to wheel one of these cards, so I'll take the bombardiers. Uh, the orb, orb's actually quite good. It fuels our graveyard. There's also Bray's apprentice, but like, I don't know if we need to go that deep. I am lower on creatures. Bray's apprentice is really good with unearth. I think I like that better than restless fence. Okay, let's take that. Ooh, the bat. I'm not taking this wasteland. This pack's kind of stacked. Dang. I'll take I'll take Urborg. We got a him to Torak. I'll take Urborg. We got an actual Torak. <laughs> Trespasser's pretty good. Him to Torak and him to Torak. Him as well, Torak. Um, I could sideboard this. I don't know if I want a Corpse Dance. Corpse Dance is kind of cool with Carnosaur and stuff. Asker Girl. I, I would sideboard this card in this deck. Oh, Goldspan came back. Good. Although I don't know if I'm a Goldspan Dragon deck. Maybe? We're playing 60 cards, right? Ophiomancer? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Torak. Okay, while well, I think about how to build this deck. Oh, do I have two of them open? Ooh. I gotta tell you, looking at the... Not that these photoshops aren't incredible, but they are what I would call incredibly unflattering. Now, that's probably because it's my face uh, that has been altered and textured and put into uh, spots that make me look like this. But uh, we have Custodialich. Oh, we have Defile. We have a Diabolic Revelation. Don't even remember when this happened. This would have had to have been like halfway through me, like closing my eyes. 
Earwig Squad. Uh, Ameria Shepherd. This is just my name. This is just my name. This is just a very nice photo. Photo. Goblin File Driver. Golos. Guild Glove. <laughs> Gurmag Angler. The Gangles. This is oddly sexual. Hammer of Boggarden. This is horny as hell. This is... What is this? What is... This is... This is... This is smut is what this is. Oh. Oh no. Oh, what you got, Tex? Ah, all right. Well, Tex was playing Mono White. Ooh, Mono White with the Gaia's Cradle? Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Hollow one. Inferno Titan. This, I don't know what this, but something about the lighting and the formatting. This makes me look like a really fat goblin. Kaya's Guile. <laughs> When is when is this from? Uh is this Pondering Mage? No, Pondering Mage has is this Cass? Oh, this is Cass. I've just never seen the artwork this up close. Eggs, eggs, I gotta tell you, and I mean this in the politest eggs. way possible. You gotta admit. I look pretty good with big naturals. I think we can all come together and all agree. Look, looking like a real snack. Uh, Whirlwind Abyss, welcome back for the 15th month. <laughs> Everybody does. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? KCI. <laughs> Lightning Angel. This, this one actually, I think this one, this one predates the stream because this was used. This was used for uh, a Canadian Highlander year end. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. I look like Aphex Twin in this. I mean, I think that was the intention. This is me trying to do the the my the Wheeler Kappa, right? Lion's Eye Diamond. I look like a lesbian that is about to give the most powerful microaggression. I'm going. I'm a lesbian that is about to upgrade my microaggression to a macroaggression immediately. <laughs> Oh my god. Monastery Mentor? That... When did I look like that? What? Why do I look like... I'm trying to... I kind of look like... Uh... <laughs> when... When did I do that? Doctor Strange. Niv Mizzet, Reborn. Oracle of Mooly Dooly. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Phyrexian Unlife. This one rules. This one, this one rules. This is really good. Should we do another Photoshop comp? We should... We should do a Photoshop competition. I think that would be a fun thing to do. Give a date, everybody submits their Photoshops. I'll even like put pictures of my face and different, you know, angles and expressions that people can do. It's like Germa's green screen bit, except uh, much worse. But perfect for the medium in which this stream tends to focus on. Prime Speaker Vanifar. I this one's good. Questing Beast. <laughs> the Questing Beast. Uh, no, well, not the Questing Beast. Technically, a Questing Beast. <laughs> oh my God. 
the rat hole. <laughs> God, I, there's something really appealing. And in, in hindsight, don't know why I had that top knot for as long as I did. It was an experiment. Didn't work out. We got rid of it. That's fine. But it is funny that I had my hair like that at a very specific point in my life and my career that <laughs> led to just seeing my face like this and my hair done like that everywhere. Uh, yeah, the Snurge Rat. Reeve's Soul from like Eldrain was pretty good. By the way, this is most of these are done by Kuba. Uh, I don't think they play a lot of magic anymore. They've popped up occasionally, but they're a fucking wizard with Photoshop. And uh, they were uh, incredibly helpful. I, I can't thank them enough. Next time, I, they, it's the kind of thing where like, if they were at a magic, if I ran into them at a magic con, it's like, you're not, you're not paying for your dinner. You know what I'm saying? You want to see the surge rat again? Because they were very, it, you have no idea how much it means when you are a new creator and you're starting out and you're like, I, I personally knowing nothing about the line of work, knowing nothing about what it, what the, the, what it entails. And then having someone be like, Hey, uh, I like your shit a lot. Check out all this cool stuff I can do and being like, Oh my God, you did like, it's yeah. It's like the adult version of, uh, I mean, it's cool even now, five years in when it happens, it's cool. Um, but when you're that early on, it's like, oh my God, you did this? It's the adult version of a kid bringing you a painting, except I'm not lying to them. It's genuinely just the coolest shit that you'll see, you know? Yeah, I gotta add the Nelson rat. Uh, Renata. Okay, you gotta admit, I look pretty good as a demigod. I look pretty good as a demigod. No, I haven't I haven't told about the pins, but I have it here. For that exact reason, Yelk. Where did I put the... There's the cowboy one. I have the outfit if I want to borrow it. Okay, it might be a little small for me, but I think I could fit in. At the, the worst case scenario, is that if I try on this outfit, Angel, um, is that two things. One, um, uh, I may destroy the costume. And two, my balls may be out the entire time. And I don't know if your average convention center is going to allow that. Now, streamer privilege, they may give me the pass, but you know. <laughs> yeah, just, just Daffy Duck in it, Porky Pig in it. Uh, this one is, I, I hope I have the story right for this one, but this one is genuinely, uh, this was not a creation by Kuba. I believe, I hope I get his name right. I believe this one was done by Jordan. Is it Jordan Isaka? I forget Jordan's last name, but a magic player, a uh, very good magic player. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest kind of uh, group who uh, I think they were, they were a Seattle player. Um, this was at a uh, PTQ that I, or an RPTQ. This was at when you had to do like the PPTQs and then the RPTQ. This was at the RPTQ um, in like 2018 or something, or 20, like right after this set came out. And this was on the screen. And I went up to the organizer, I'm like, you gotta give me this thing. I need this image. This is great. Judith is my queen, you know? And uh, yeah, Un very, very uh, sadly, Jordan passed away uh, last year, I think actually, which is uh, really a, a, big, a big blow to I mean, it's unfortunate when anybody passes away, but a big blow to the uh, Pacific Northwest magic scene. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I, I mean, I'm glad I still have that because of this. The twins. 
I, don't, I forgot about this one. <laughs> this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. <coughs> Why do I look so... I have like a really huge... Mu this, this, the way that my hair blends into Will's hair uh, kind of works. Uh, although it makes it look like I have a really we powerful mullet. I look, I look so fucking good. Ooh. This is not, this is good. This is good. I'm going to actually share this with Ben. Hold on. Your share this with Ben. He, maybe he's seen it. Um, maybe he's seen it. Let's find out. I will finish this draft, by the way. But I had these open and I realized I hadn't looked at these for so long. And I thought it'd be very funny. It works, but you have a mullet that could slay God. Rune Scarred Demon. Seagate Oracle. This is the grossest one of the bunch. Show and tell. This is... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I, the, my eyes got fucked with and the hair and oh, this is, this is the, this is the grossest one. I mean, this one's also kind of gross with the, the batter skull. <laughs> batter skull. Soul herder. I mean, shitty, shitty person. Truly the biggest, <laughs> the biggest loss to come out from Seth McKinnon being a shithead uh, is that now I don't get to share this one. Great, I mean, great execution here, but you know. Soulfire Grandmaster. Why do I look like, why do I look like um, uh, a combination between uh, Maximilian and um, uh, the, what's that guy's name? He's like the really Italian guy on TikTok that doesn't have a chin. You know what I'm talking about. I look like I'm 16 years old. No, not Doug Walker. The sandwich. Yeah, the sandwich guy. Yeah. I forget his name. I don't watch his stuff. Stasis, this is my favorite one of the bunch. This is my favorite one of the bunch by a lot. Yeah, knows your sister pretty well. <laughs> Tendrils of agony, oh my God. Well, that's very kind of them. They, tr they cut down the amount of chins I have. This one's really good too. <laughs> this one, this one is really good. I think about this one a lot. Because we were going to make this an emote, and then it was like, this isn't going to work as an emote. The horny, what do you mean horny stasis? Oh, no. Oh, I did. Oh. It's Morley. Oh, oh, it's Morley. Oh, that's how she looks so pissed. Oh, that's cute. Double caked up stasis. I've never seen it. I think maybe it was mentioned. I think I've, I like have a vague memory of something. Like I, I've heard of a stasis altar. That is like notorious. Oh no, I heard of Amy tweeting about it, but I've never seen it. Poor Morley. Poorly. Thunderbreak Regent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Drink it, Paige. You blew it. You blew it. 
True name Nemesis with Vince in the background. Why is Vince in the pit? Why is Vince in this picture? Oh no, it's because we did a video and I like destroyed him with true name. Right, I think I remember this. There's a secret Kenobi. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a second Morley. <laughs> the Uvin Wall Hydra. Yeah, elves, elves versus blue green. That's what it was. Eggs, right, because there's the Splinter Twin e one we did too. Eggs. I remember. Mm bop. Welcome back for the 42nd month. What up? I finally got to play my non-standard text box cube this morning. It was fun. What do you wait? Hold on. Non-standard text box cube. You're going to have to explain to me and you're going to have to give me a list. And also, thank you so much for all the support. That's very generous. Of you. Urza with the cowboy molders in the background. And then the double vampiric tuner. <laughs> this one is so stupid. This one is so stupid. You the the like flowing hair on the on the one in the front as like oh uh, you know sacrificing the blood right for the ritual and just looking so happy about it. Kind of look like Yogmoth here. And then the, the one that is supposed to be this like lich, right? Or this vampire is just, you're the one that's pogging? You're the one that's surprised? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vesper Lark. <clears throat> this is what I look like in real life, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, the chin, the jawline, bouncing, weapon craft enthusiast, whoa, intense, very intense. Withering boot. Am I allowed to show this on on television? Am I allowed to show this on television? And then this is actual Yogmoth. Oh yeah, get fucked. <laughs> it's just Wheeler Big Natural. Okay, hold on. I want to. I want to get. I want to nip this in the bud right now. Right, we cannot allow me to have a nickname of Wheeler like Big Benjamin Big Naturals Wheeler. It doesn't work for a variety of reasons. But if you if it's big Big Jugs is fine because that is something that is in my you know lexicon. Big sexy. I know that's Kevin Nash's. I don't want to pinch a wrestler's name. So he could kick my ass? He doesn't care. All right. Uh, nice collector of zombie infestation. This one's pretty good. Yeah, Bong Jam and Weedler is probably the best one. I think Bong Jam and Weedler has also aged very well. You know, what with my marijuana consumption. <clears throat> but, you know. There, there are options. If you're going to go with one, Big Jugs works pretty well. Here's the Cube Cobra Link. Don't mind if eggs, I do. Eggs, oh yeah, so it's eggs. adventures, flip cards, uh, level up. This looks sick. This is very cool. Very cool. Sagas. Battles. <laughs> to fuel, welcome back for the 49th month. Ahoy, it was fun seeing you in Chicago. Glad you enjoyed the Malort. 
Thank you for having me uh, in Chicago. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was great to meet you. Well, not meet you, but great to see you. Uh, the, let me let me talk to you about my lord. Great stuff. <laughs> and Zurin Orb. This has got to be the last one, right? Yeah, this is the last one. The Zurin Orb is creepy. I am Groot. All right, let's build this deck. <clears throat> so I need to have enough creatures in order to be able to play this. I, the Darcy kind of works for me. We have a lot of spells, but I'm not married to Darcy. I definitely don't want Bitter Blossom. Um, I don't think I want Rainkull. It's a lot of threes. Graveyard Trespasser, mm, probably not. I don't actually think we need all of these cards, and I like Inferno Titan better than Gravy Train. Mulder's trying to get in. Hi. Oh, you just had food? Yeah. I mean, we could still play the Gravy Train. Gravy Train's really good with a great nightmare. We got the Photoshops with Krim. <laughs> They're somewhere in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't actually think I wanted Tomb. I mean, I have Entomb Necromancy, but I don't have any, like, big Entomb targets. Um, same with Brutality. I feel like I'm going to get more value by just playing the game. Maybe this Goldspan's not needed, too. We have ways of discarding cards in the first place. Um, I like the Unearth. <laughs> it's very loud. That was very quiet. Uh, can I run 16 land with this? I have double, I have Copter and Inti and Currency Converter. I am kind of low cost. We got this. Yeah, I'm just going to run 16 for lack of wanting to cut anything. We only have one six drop. I mean, I should probably cut this Fraxian Dragon Engine and play 17. It's really cool to get it back with Unearth. I think I like it better than Braze, or I think I like Braze Brenda's more. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. Hi. Hi. How come you don't wanna hang out? <clears throat> Did I get my Dwarven Armor? I got six Dwarven Armorers. You can't just sit on the floor and yell at me. Trying to convince my cat not to leave, but also to leave. Uh, not to leave, but also if you're gonna do this, you know, pick a spot. Pick a spot, Falter. You wanna come up here? No, she wants nothing to do with me. No, she just wants more pets. Ooh, this hand rules, I'll keep. Also, uh, Yalk. I talked about all the cool shit y'all did earlier, or part of it. Um, check out these pins. These wooden laser cut pins. Hubris and Greet. There's another one, but I found when I put three on them, they would get caught in my vest. And These two are my favorite, personally. These fucking rules. These were so cool. There's also, uh, there was a Yeehaw. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is what I mean when I say that, uh, folks other than me do my merch better than I ever would. Is it feet? I don't know if I want to put that one. I don't know if that's one that you're going to see anytime soon. Although maybe. 
Ooh, Baleful Strix, Bowmasters, Goblin Welder. Uh, I'll take the Bowmasters, because it's the best magic card. That Baleful Strix is going to be real annoying. <clears throat> Very cool stuff. Yeah. Also, for what it's worth, for the, like, as like merch associated with us. The wood is like very on brand, right? For the cowboy. It also just makes it look nicer. There are, I like, I'm not a pins guy. And part of the reason why I'm not a pins guy is because I find a lot of the time they kind of just look cheap, you know? Uh, him to Torx, or do I, do I want to start attacking with Kari's Ev? Kind of want to start. I want I want to get the Kari's Ev uh, broadside bombardiers going here. Double bird. Yo, the Dubla bird. The soft enamel pins look cheap. You got to go with the hard enamel. I found some of the metal pins too look not great. Or at the very least, they look uncomfortable. They look, or they look cumbersome. They look like, uh, the, the wood looks nice. It looks like actual craft has been put into the, like, you know, there, there's, there's something there. Um, at mostly like as far as like the tone goes too right like not even talking directly talking about the quality of it just um let's do this <clears throat> if they want to double block my bombardiers they can oh um yeah you can do that then Right, I can only do this once per turn. Whoops. Mm, that's fine. Trying to butter you up. I mean, it's I'm I'm just talking. I'm just talking the truth here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. to track getting a land and a necromancy then I'm going to a braid kill this okay they got two cards left they got one card left let's hope it's not a good one here's Alalia that resolved very quickly Oh, it's an Orcish Bowmasters. Accidentally said that like the Pokemon Stadium announcer. Oh, it's Orcish Bowmasters. Hubris and feet go together like wine and cheese. Not only do I not want to answer that, but I'm th thankful that I don't have to answer that. It's not my responsibility. It's a pretty good top deck. It walks well. Cycles for more cards. Ooh, we got a bat. I mean, the bat's not hitting anything. But it is a bat. <clears throat> Orcish bruh masters. What the dog doing? What is the dog doing? 
Kaito Shizuki. Kaito's pretty good. They didn't attack. Right? They didn't attack? They didn't attack. Okay. Deck feels pretty good. Uh, they're doing some artifact stuff. Trespasser seems like it'd be pretty good because they use the graveyard a bit. A little awkward because they got clones. Maybe that's why. The clones are kind of awkward. Could bring in Torak. Torak would be kind of nice. Hmm. Maybe we cut Trespasser. They only showed the Welder, right? So maybe I don't actually need it. It's probably fine. We got Firebolt. What would the Pokemon TCG equivalent of flashing in Bowmasters? <sighs> um... Turn one Psyduck Headache. Where you're like, oh, I get it. This is here to stop people doing egregious things with trainers. And then you realize that everything people do in this game is something egregious with trainers. And that that's just the, the deck. Or that's just the, the game. Hey, wait a minute. That's the game. That's just the game. Preacher of the Schism. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, you're going to get some value. Lelia uses my mana efficiently, which is kind of nice. Let's me draw into something too. Um, I don't really want, I want to get this going. Do I want to keep up this abrade? I kind of want to just go Darcy. Cause if I can double spell too, I think I'm going to get a lot out of double spelling here. Maybe I'm overthinking. I think this is what I'm gonna do. Well, we did draw a card for double spelling. Enters the battlefield, turning into enters. Uh, I it saves a lot of space. It loses some charm. It's one of those things where, like, are we really at the point where cards have so many words on them that you have to get rid of the word enters the ba like that you have to get rid of enters the battlefield? And like, should that be the case? Right? Like that's that. Oh, Fallen Shinobi would be so sick. All right, it is Fallen Shinobi. So Braid's not doing so hot. Okay, don't blow me out entirely, please. They hit Firebolt and the Bat. That's pretty bad. Firebolt and the Bat. What do I have? I have Carnosaur. Oh, you know what I can do? This is kind of funny. So instant land creature, if I can hit something to get me delirium, then we are going to be set. Um, I need that second black source, but I don't think I can actually afford to keep that on. Oh, This bat's hitting this abrade, or at the very... It is hitting the abrade no matter what, but at the very least, we can set up a situation where... Um, 
we are forcing them to hit that breed. We are making the decision. Excuse me. Now they're gonna fire bolts. Oh wait, it's no, if they survive, doesn't matter. Do you think they're gonna notice? If they firebolt my Darcy, it survives, right? Because it does two and then it's in my graveyard. Honk, honk. Sick. Now I gotta worry about this thing. It took me a second to be like, oh yeah, that's my fireball <laughs> or firebolt. That was a very good draw. That was a very good draw. <laughs> bolting a goif. <laughs> it's the new bolting a goif is uh, <laughs> fire bolting a Darcy. This takes care of their vampire token. Also uh, gives us a jump blocker for the fallen shinobi. They have baleful strix in their deck too. So, you know. That was a good draw. Ride that surf. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Wait, they shot the Darcy? Oh, that's why, because I'm dead. <laughs> hmm, why did they do this play that was bad? Oh, it's because I was fucking dead. Well. Get the Preacher, and they had a Doretti. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, Lelia. Uh, I think I'm going to turn the copter. I'm going to jump block with the copter. I get them uh, another trigger with the Bowmasters. But I don't think I can give a shit about that. I don't have to, but I think I will because I'm not winning this game. That's a good draw. That is a good draw. If we get Trumpeting Carnosaur... And we're kind of doing it. I'm going to attack. I'm going to try to attack. Did you draw a removal spell? Did you draw a removal spell? Oh. Well, I was a little, little late, but good draw nonetheless. Chomp, chomp. Uh, yeah, I'll fire this off on you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. We're eating tonight. Because they got Goblin Welder and they got Doretti. That's kind of funny. We can necromancy it at instant speed, so we immediately get the uh, triggered ability. I'm, I'm down to clown here. I'm down to clown. I'm clown to down, if you know what I mean. Oh. Actually, it's probably better to just necromancy here, huh? No, I should do it instant speed in case my opponent has, um, it plays around clones better, I guess. 
And a double block on the Fallen Shinobi doesn't even matter. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, ain't he? You're so fine. All three of your opponents were on Jeskai with Jace, Forth, etc. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just playing Camlander? Big blocks. All oh, this is fine. I didn't buy the land. Whoops. Oh, whoops. It's fine. Uh huh. Urtai. Oh. oh no, Ar Arnar! Arnar, they killed my stuff! How will I ever get out of this? Arnar! Please don't counter spell. That would be really embarrassing if you had the counter. Well, I'm glad I played around the clone. They may still have like a brazen bar or some shit. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Good job, team. We did it. Our table is that is that what our the like the popular like our nar is from i thought it was just making fun of australians like nothing you don't need any more than that right oh no our table is broken. Isn't that a kid? That's, the, yeah, that's the kid. That's the, oh no, our table. It's broken. table it's broken oh, I should fire off this fuck I'm a busy boy chat I'm a busy lad I'll keep this hand. We have a lot of one mana interactive spells that we don't currently have, but well, oh no. Um, but yeah, this hand seems pretty good. Now I kind of want a bat before I smuggler's copter. Oh shit, we're just dead. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, heck yeah. Let's draw a fury. Inti's pretty good. 
I think I'll take Inti. Inti works well with Unearth. One drop, two drop. Don't Adeline me. Oh no! God, God fucking damn it. God freaking damn it. Gosh darn it. Oh no. <clears throat> Alright. Bat. Oh. I hate it. I hate it. My opponent's deck looks pretty gross. Gotta admit. Gotta give him props, it looks pretty gross. Pretty gross. Oh yeah. Damn, their decks. Wild. It is wild that all of these cards, except for Plateau, are uh, Gladiator legal. Especially Usher of the Fallen, the most egregious of the group. Uh, if I get them a gut, I'm just like, basically resigning myself to die. Play that, play that. All right, Fury might not be good enough now. <clears throat> this may be a quick one. Also, the Lion Sash makes this a little awkward, like setting up a, I don't know, a recurring nightmare with friends. Like, what's my out here? Do I have one? I want to hide some of the bigger cards. Make them think I'm just kind of low curve. Oh. <clears throat> okay. That was quick. Thorax getting in. Masker Girls getting in. Um, the Lion Sash, don't know how good this duress is going to be. There are a couple of targets. And Currency Converter, I don't know if I'm going to have time for this. Maybe it's fine. Maybe this him to Torak. Is it ever, is cutting him to Torak everything I do? It's funny that we add Torak and cut him to Torak. I mean, him Torax is pretty good. Currency Converter I might not have time for. These cards are expensive, but we can pop off with them. Maybe it's Necromancy, but again, Necromancy is like one of the ways that we can actually just get ahead of this kind of deck. Could be Kari's of, but cutting a, a first striking cheap creature is a little awkward. My gut says him to Torak. I'm going to cut him to Torek. I could cut Recurring Nightmare. Am I going to have time for Recurring Nightmare? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> yes. No. Yes. Very good. Um, I don't think I want Nightmare and Necromancy. I think I will keep Nightmare. Thought sees you. Containment Priest and Relic Warder. 
and this Luminarch Aspirant. I mean, the Kandaman Priest shuts down the Recurring Nightmare. So does the Relic Order. This is a really, um, really spiteful set of cards. Take the Aspirin. It's the best card in the pack, or the their hand. Play this currency converter. Do you have a mana tie? No. Yeah, I was gonna say, why would you mana tie this? Makes no sense. Sick. Well, if we're gonna lose to any deck, at least we're losing to this. Okay. We're probably dead. But this seems okay. It's nice to know... <laughs> nice to know Boros is still doing Boros stuff. And... Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it! I get it. Boris is still the best tech of the cube. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I understand. I fucked up. I understand. I should have streamed Shondalar today. I understand. That's me. That's my bad. I did this, unfortunately. Can I at least get a 2-1? Please. I would like to stream more cube. I like cube. Shit. I, there's no way you all get this. It's it's playable. <clears throat> okay, Augur of Autumn. We have the Karis of Broadside Bombardier's Lane. I could also just him to Torak them. If I don't him them now, when am I going to him them? They mulliganed. Glad I him to Torak them. Now I 
wish I put the Karis up. They discarded the mountain? They have a mountain on, on top? No. Guess we have to... They're hellbent. I guess we have to hope that they keep bricking. Wayfinder. Kind of annoying. We do get to kill Inti. Which is pretty nice. Ooh, and we get to unearth it? Okay. Um, I do want to get Karizev on the table, though. So I'm going to play Karizev. Not the bat. The bat's not doing anything here. Take two, then we can unearth the Karizev. Playing the bat doesn't do too much. Karizev at least blocks this deep root wayfinder. Also, getting Karizev to have um, to make the token means that we just get a shock on our attack. Shock is also not doing too much into these X threes. Oh, the Jack? No, come on. Okay. I lumberjacked into the sentinel on top. Thought of Besaju. So this recurring nightmare is a little awkward. I mean, I, I guess we can at least bat them. Fury would be great. <clears throat> it's the Basaju we all know and love. I attack with these two. want to block like that. And I'm going to target this. I'm going to sacrifice this Karizo. Oh, I should have done first strike damage first. I forgot to do first strike damage. Fuck. If I if I am off by one, then I deserve everything that I have coming to me. Crying night. So then we can block the Deep Root Wayfinder. Hopefully they don't find a one power creature or more so that we can keep this Augur of Autumn going like under control. They drew a Fast Bond. Fast Bond Augur of Autumn is pretty scary. You've been organizing Pokemon pins for two hours? Pins? That's got to be detrimental to your mental health and your physical health. Also, how how are you organizing? You got a shipment of 600 enamel pins. Too many pins. 
I can kill this Augur of Autumn. And I just might. Hold on. I'm not sacrificing... I sacrifice the Raghavan to shock. Then I get the bat back. Then I get Karizev back. That just pushes so much more damage. Maybe that's better, because then I can take three. I can. I think I can afford to take three. Yeah, I'm just going to push a bunch of damage here. Their face when your brawless wife brings you 600 enamel pins unasked for, by the way. <laughs> they have besage you. They don't get an opportunity to besage you, right? Because returning is part of the cost. I know they have besage you in hand, but I'm just doing it to get Kari's Zev untapped. Identifying Besaju. Yep, that's Besaju. Kind of a shame we don't have a big dork. Just a real... Would love to have like a real dorkus here. Just a... Just a large... Large jerk. Give me an Inferno Titan. Or a Fury. Something, anything. I'm begging you. This is close. I think if we get a spell, we're in it to win it. Oh, Fury is like the best thing to get. Although Inferno Titan just kills them. If I get Inferno Titan, oh, they didn't attack. They didn't attack. didn't attack uh, you sacrifice this because this is like the only way we're not winning this game not winning this game as if this goes poorly now they can block the monkey they take two this oh did you draw endurance you didn't draw endurance no way mox diamond mox diamond okay did the ui call karis of my opponent's name yeah it does that a, a couple of times I've, I've noticed that i got confused with that earlier with the uh the traxa Um, great showcasing on how this card is messed up. And honestly, on how Recurring Nightmare, even in like very, air quotes, fair situations, it's also quite messed up. I don't know how good Duress is going to be in this matchup. Um, I think maybe I want Trespasser though. Or this. Trespasser is just kind of annoying. Could bring in the dragon engine. It's worth noting they have besage you. I saw Magic the Gathering and thought I was playing Shondalar. <laughs> I should be playing Shondalar. Anytime, anytime I'm not playing Shondalar, people should be saying, hey, 
Is Ben okay? He's not playing Shondalar. I'm not, not to talk into great detail. I had Wizards of the Coast employees talk to me about Shondalar. <coughs> this isn't a Shondalar stream. Well, it's a little similar. I can't move my stuff around though. Uh, well, my fault. I was on the draw. Maybe they won't buff it. Oh, they did. They're just going to pitch a card to make it big. Pitching a card to make it big. Chandala, we are off. <laughs> These are the faces of evil. Breaking. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of the bad guy from Shondalar again? Shondalar villain. Your majesty, Arzakhan and his minions have taken over the world of Shondalar. Hmm. Arzakhan and his planeswalkers have taken over the plane of Shondalar. Hmm. How can we help? It is written, only Shivan Dragon with Eternal Warrior can defeat Ganon. Uh huh. Great, I'll grab my stuff. There's no fucking time, dude. Your sword is more than enough. Oh, all right, dear. Gets me every time. Wake up, Impa. Wake up, wake up, Impa. They're about to fireball us for six. Oh, all right, dear, I'll grab my healing salve. I've never played the CDI games. Should I? That's bad for me. Hey, do I... There are HD releases of them? How much do I hate myself? Ooh, great question. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attack. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to leave this back. Great question. Next question. Are you, no, don't do this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do this? Well, this is bad, very bad, but we're not, we're not out of it. We can, we can draw into some stuff. Can you hear the confidence in my voice? We could draw into some stuff. There's no time. Your sword is enough. What are all those heads? 
The Monarchy uh, might be tough. Inferno Titan's pretty good. Oh, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold, hold up. So this means I can necromancy the Inferno Titan. Does that change anything? Um, if I necromancy it, it means I can make a 2-2. Two -two. So I can block. I can take... I think I'm doing this. I think I'm attacking. I'm hitting ya. Also means I can firebolt them. Oh, I didn't fucking do it. I was supposed to... Oh, god damn it. I was supposed to crew the copter. I'm a little distracted. This is embarrassing. I, okay, so now I can still firebolt. I can still do this. It's just not as good as I want it to be. Um, no, I can't still do this. Fuck, that was so bad. Okay, so now if I, since I punted, what am I doing? I'm killing this. I'm killing a token and then making a blocker. Wow, that was bad. Um, okay, 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 okay. How am I recovering? Will I ever be able to recover? There's actually a chance that I, well, if I firebolt this and make a token and then block with the token, Discard Titan and reanimate it, but then that doesn't... I mean, that will do a thing. If I discard Titan and reanimate it, I can only kill one of these tokens. Man, that was so fucking bad. We just die if we do that. I mean, I can block. Kill this, animate, block, and I take four. I think I have to, though. That was so bad. so bad Chad I'm sorry maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm more tired than I think mm. oh shit Tired Ben with the soft serve. It's a Tuesday. Nobody's home anyways. People are magicked out. It's late. Beg your pardon? You exerting? Okay. Vascular dryad. Attack. 
your life points directly. How's the drafting going? Uh, I've been having a been having a rough day. <laughs> Make a token. I can flash back and kill this, and that jumps block, jump blocks that. Um, I could also just play out an Ophiomancer. I think. Am I getting reprieved? Ooh. Okay, our opponent has one card in hand. We have four blockers. We're at seven. If they have like a gold span dragon, it's not great. All right, we went two and one. Glad of it. Okay, a rough day of streaming, assuredly. But at least we were up for six hours great uh thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i'm going to call it there i am scheduled i am scheduled yeah i'm streaming chandelar tomorrow great i'm streaming chandelar tomorrow so i'm going to keep playing chandelar tomorrow uh but i'm calling it there thanks for watching thanks for tuning in reminder that uh i mean i talked about the whole card kingdom situation at the beginning of the stream mana traders hello fresh for the next week uh code still isn't working very cool very cool i wonder if that's been helping or interacting poorly uh yeah i'm gonna call it there let me drop you kids off somewhere Let me drop get some off somewhere. If Twitch would work, hello? They changed how you raid people, and I hate it. How about Jamie? Jamie is currently streaming. Let's raid Jamie. Go say hi to Jamie. Jamie's playing Magic the Gathering and is in Mythic. Who wants to watch Mythic Magic the Gathering? Mythic the Gathering. Uh, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Love you. Have a good one.